Hello, hello everyone. Thank you all so much for coming out to the tournament today. This is the Fantasy Strike tournament uh, brought to you by Quarantine Rapport. Uh, it's going to be a great tournament. I'm super excited. I'm here with Mr. MKL, of course, and uh, there's a lot of sponsors we have. Some of the more notable ones, uh, we got Direct Relief Charity. They are fighting against COVID-19 in all 50 states and 30 countries. Money will get protective equipment to doctors and volunteers running out. So please, if you have spare money, if you can help out, please send some money over to Direct Relief. Um, it's a great organization, and we really are trying to raise some money for COVID-19 and all of that. Uh, also, Quarterly Rapport, that is the organization that's been that's getting all of these games together. It's fantastic. They brought so many gaming communities together to help raise money for the direct relief. Uh, we also got a lot of donations from the Fantasy Strike community uh, for the prize pool for this tournament. So it's I think we got $500 for the prize pool. So very big tournament, very big prize pool. It's going to be great. Uh, and yeah, I'm here with Mr. MKL. How's it going, man? Hey, I'm doing well. How's it going, folks? I'm Mr. MKL. I'm uh, happy to be here. Absolutely. And I think we're going to just hop right in, right? Uh, we got a big tournament. Probably should get in there. We're going to be checking out uh, Phoebe versus... Uh, I forgot who Phoebe was playing against, actually. Phoebe versus Zergling Man. Zergling Man. Absolutely. So let me go ahead and hop in there. Okay. Hopefully things run smoothly. <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited. I think this this is an amazing event. Uh, big shout outs to Quarterly Rapport for organizing this whole thing. Uh, we, there's what, 36 games, I believe, being run over two days, all in the hopes of raising money for direct relief and uh, supporting COVID relief here. So yeah, absolutely. But, it's it's an amazing event. Uh, I think this is one of the biggest online tournaments I've ever seen, uh, at least in terms of the amount of games being ran. It's absolutely insane. Absolutely. And right now we have Phoebe going in with Grave. Getting some nice big damage, but uh, Zergling Man managing to space it out here, getting out some mini lums. Oh, but rolls right into that fireball. I'm getting back in at the moment. All right, I am in to the tournament or into the uh, match now. Oh, it does look like Phoebe got the first match, our first round. Yep, good stuff. Stuff in the uh, jackpot there with the fireball. Yeah, you got to up the cherry while you're at it. Yeah, so you have to be very careful with just using jackpot like that because any projectile will beat it. Ooh, a very good oh, jump big in. jump in. Only two damage, though. Wasn't able to get that third damage with the rolling. Goes to the jackpot again. Ooh, no. I like uh, it. Another no firework. Some good chip. Oh, that's so much chip. That's two damage and chip, I believe. Lots of good coins oh, here. Oh, skill coins. Another firework. All right. Oh, this is bad. Phoebe. That's going to that's gonna do it. Zergling doing a great job of just getting in on Phoebe and just using the items to keep the space. All right, just using some projectiles here, trying to make some space. Does need to get in though, you can't- Oh, a very good short fireballer. Gets a counter hit. Three damage with a jump in. It's the bomb. All right, this is a good time to use the jackpot. Oh, lands in the oh, bomb. Wow. Does have Zerg in main at one. Very good jump in throw there. I like that a lot. Uh, generally what you do want to do against the Lum is you want to get in on the Lum. If you just leave them be, if you let them do their thing, you're just going to lose because they're going to get so much value out of those items. Yeah, Ooh. it's dangerous to let a Lum set up the right in play. Yeah, I really like that roll under there. Screen. Absolutely. Really wants to get this, this, this cake there so you can start throwing out more items. I like this a lot from Phoebe. Not not picking up the cake because when you don't pick up yep. that cake, it doesn't let the Lum throw out more items. It's an Maybe. excellent strategy to use versus a Lum there. Doing a really good job defending the cake. Absolutely. I really do like that trade for Phoebe in Phoebe's favor and is going to get past that little, that little melon there. Yeah, that melon... Uh, can't stand up against the two durability enhanced uh, wind cloud, so. Not at all. I think Phoebe, oh no, oh, Zergling, nice. yeah, Zergling main was not able to get over that. Very good uh, ground super there from Phoebe. I like this a lot, not picking up the, the uh, picking yep. up the cake. What you want to do? Are they trade, that's a very good trade for Phoebe. Zergling main so low, this is bad for Zergling main. Able to get out, but not oh. going for the combo, unfortunately. Maybe not expecting that to hit. Goes for the jackpot, and they do trade. Trade. We did see that trade happen a bit earlier as well. Unfortunate there for Zergling May. Needs to be a bit more careful with those jackpots, I believe. Yeah, jackpot, really it's the uh, best reversal option that Lum has, but unfortunately it oftentimes just trades at best. Um, so it's a, it's a risky thing, right? Uh, you can use it if you've got the health advantage or if you just need that one, one bit of health to kill, but... 
Yeah, most of the time, I think you you generally are not wanting to be using that as a reversal, unless it's uh, maybe against the, I know that against Valerie, the yellow, if you time it just right, you can always win, but it's so mm -hmm. hard to do as a reversal. Uh, but if you if you are good enough to know the correct timings for every single move in the game, then by all means, use it as a Ooh. reversal. Solid play from Phoebe there, using the uh, sword and cloud combination to keep uh, Zergling Man Satsuki just out of there. Very nice indeed. You gotta control the airspace against Satsuki. If she starts running her crazy game, then you got a problem. But look, this great job eating the kunai. Yeah, and you gotta be to get the knockdown. Yeah, and you gotta be so careful with those ninja ports. I mean, we just saw Zergling Man use that ninja port, and if it doesn't connect, if you mess up, then you're always going to lose to either a reversal or just a punish. Just like that. There's yeah. the reversal right there. Good sword from Phoebe. Okay, couldn't sword that one actually. That was the two damage combo. Oh, you can't be doing that. No, you you never want to use a ninja port in in open like that. You, you just don't want to do that. You're just always gonna get punished. Ninja port's more of a move that you use to get around projectiles and get the two damage combo or to punish for one or two damage with a four day into a ninja port, but you never just want to use it out in the open. It's just very, very punishable. Yeah, run ninja port's super dangerous. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think actually raw I think ninja port at least raw ninja port's probably one of the worst moves that you can do. But just because there is like it's easy punish on the block there, right? Exactly. It's even nice anti air trade. Yeah, and that's gonna be it. Uh, Phoebe gonna yeah. get this first win here, two zero. Very well done to Phoebe. Absolutely. Yeah, that was a fairly quick match. Uh, I think that I think I would have liked to see. I think I would have liked to see Zergling main maybe stay on the Lum or go something other than Satsuki. I don't think Satsuki necessarily has a bad matchup against a Grave, but if you're if you're very if you're the kind of player that likes to use ninja port a lot you're kind of just going to lose to a grave because you're never going to you're never going to win but uh, a great a great game uh, nonetheless uh absolutely uh while we have the time there's a lot uh, a lot of other sponsors as well we've got uh turtle.dev uh, one app to fluidly add freelance software developers to your team each month powered by tools built for great teamwork uh lots of great sponsors here i mean it, it's fantastic Oh, Zipon and Phoebe playing another match, apparently, for some reason. I believe they finished. All right. So, Phoebe versus Zipon, I think, is where we're at right now. Oh, you know what? I think that was actually the match I was just in. Yeah, it was. I, I, I read Zipon as Zergling main. <laughs> I saw the Z and assumed that they were just playing again. They, they knew better than me. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so Zipon playing the Majori. It's a character you see them play quite often. Yeah, and we just and saw stick with their grave here. Yeah, and we just saw something very, very unfortunate. Uh, a Midori after a parry when you're on the ground with one HP. <laughs> very hard to deal with. You have mm -hmm. because there's so many options that the Midori can have to kill you there. Good blocks here. Oh, very good blocks there. That was a cross up mix up as well, and still got the block properly. Oh, this is bad. Oh. Dude. Oh, very good jump over of the sword. I actually thought Phoebe might have hit, hit Midori there, but able to get around it. Very nice butt slam to get over the projectile there. Not allowing Grave to anti-air. Oh, parry, knockdown. What's yeah, the mix-up? Regular throw. Zipon getting a lot of good parries here. Safe I don't... jump? No, no that is not a safe, safe jump. jump. Maybe uh, it's definitely trying for a safe jump. They're not able to get a good cross up. Ooh, and a good oh. jump in three damage combo. Zip on, perhaps trying to go for a Yomi counter there. You have to be very careful because, uh, I mean, you can go for that Yomi, and if Zip on had gotten the Yomi, it would have been very useful for him. But fortunately, Phoebe said, nah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for the three damage combo. Should be able to get a punish here. Alright. The back, eh? Oh no, Phoebe, that's Bait not what you want to do. Ooh, Zip on could have done a jump in, actually, I believe, to get that. Going Extra for damage. chip. Nice sword to get off me. Yeah, I really like that. Another good sword. Gets oh, a again. counter hit. That's exactly what Phoebe needed. Gets out of the corner a bit here. Gets some pressure okay. back. Gets You're, a good air to air. This? Oh, oh no, the parry. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. Phoebe did a great job of actually getting that dragon pressure off of her, using the swords at the right time, but uh, mm, parry's very good. I think Phoebe maybe needs to stop trying to use so many neutral A's in those situations. Maybe go for some throws. Indeed. But also... 
uh, Phoebe really needs to stop letting Midori just butt slam here. Like, yeah. he's getting in for absolutely free without any anti air. Yeah, absolutely. I, I believe a neutral A or even a sword can sometimes beat the butt slam. Mm -hmm. or, or even I mean, just uh, a, a, short, a short projectile, but you, can't, but you oh. have to use it at the right time. Absolutely, but like Zippon is using some excellent timing and uh, very tricky spacing to to cross up here. So, like it's challenging to do, but it's it's one of the things. There you go. You can use the cloud. Good throw there. We're seeing some throws now. Goes to the dragon form. Gets a Yomi Whoa. counter. You don't see that Leaves very often. Good neutral. Eh? I like that. Good there anti here. Go. Oh, it's bad. Oh, such a huge jump in. What an amazing jump in from Zipon. Phoebe, all Phoebe needed to do was block there, but unfortunately pressed the button and took four damage, and that was it. Gonna get Talon right. there. Bad for Phoebe. Oh, barely jumped and took two damage for it. Gets sweeped. Nice tail sweep. Goes for it again. Should hit this, yep. Phoebe in the corner there. No, Phoebe Ooh, is gonna no. be blocked. Into the throw. Unfortunate there for Phoebe. I think Phoebe just maybe needs to be playing a bit more safe, but really needs to stop letting Zippon just walk her into the corner like this. Yeah. Ooh, misses the anti-air, or the air-to-air. -air. It's a good sword okay. on the throw. There we go. Now yep. we're seeing some anti-air. Anti good cross-up. Nice cross Another good cross-up. Up. Another one! Do it again. Oh, oh, same side this time. A good throw, though. Oh, in the corner oh, as well. This is a bad sword. Does right. have Zippon and chip, though. Goes for the sword, doesn't get it! Again. No! Zip just on! Just out of range for that chip. Just zip on, just saying, no, I know it's coming. I'm just gonna walk back. Yeah, absolutely. Zip on was just absolutely ready for that. Jump back, didn't even take the chip. Uh, and we are gonna just hop right into a Rook Hucker versus Oh hi, oh hi there? Oh hi here. Oh hi there. Yes. Oh hi there. Oh hi there. Oh hi there, oh, hi there Mark. <laughs> Oh, if you have, if you guys have not seen that movie, that is a fantastic movie. Um, well, I don't know if you would call it fantastic, but uh, <laughs> the room, not not the disaster artist. <laughs> Everyone should watch that movie. It's it's so terribly bad, it's good. <laughs> but uh, while we're getting into this game, let me let you guys know about some more sponsors. Again, lots of sponsors for this event. Like, definitely check them out, guys. A lot of people put in a lot of hard work getting this event together. So another sponsor, we have a Reptile Games. They're the developer of Lethal League Blaze. They donated copies of the game, skins, and sponsored $300 to the prize pool. Uh, Digital Crafter, uh, they de uh, developer for Fight of Animals. They donated copies of their game as well and sponsored $50 to, to their pot as well. Um, So many great games. And, and I just have to say... That, this is a great tournament. The communities for all of these games have been have been fantastic, from what I hear. Uh, they've just been donating. They've been helping out, uh, especially uh, quarterly rapport. Just getting all of this together. I I run single tournaments. I can't imagine how how difficult it must be to get all all these games together in one session. You know. I know. The logistics are just absolutely crazy. So big shout outs to uh, all the communities who've come out in, uh, in in very strong force to to help out in any way they can. I'd really recommend that any viewers here go check out later on over the next uh, over today and tomorrow. There are a bunch of game tournaments happening. Check out Lethal League. Check out Fight of Animals. Um, right. Check out uh, Gundam. Uh, mm -hmm. All these crazy games that are being run. Uh, it'll be an amazing time. But yeah. right now. I think we're going to get into the match between Rook Hugger and Oh Hi There. Absolutely, and uh, I believe, yeah, Oh Hi There actually got the first round victory here. If anyone is new to this community, uh, Rook Hugger, I would say, is probably uh, one of, if not like the second best player in the community in terms of tournament performance. So uh, this is probably going to be a treat for everyone. All right, Oh Hi There, though, it does get the first two rounds here. Rook Hugger trying, doing a great job on this third round. Keeping Satsuki out. This is a very classic rush down versus zoner. Oh, Rook Hugger. Oh, does get in. Gets that poison off. And now Ohai there is in a very good position. Oh, doesn't get the extra damage because of the cross up. And Rook Hugger is going to take it with a little, little drill there. Great job from Rook Hugger. Keeping that. Oh, does jump at the wrong time. Gets a good throw. Rook Hugger getting that pressure off. Gets the poison on Ohai nice there, poison. but does oh, get nice. hit by the kunai. Good back A for the anti-air. And the goldfish! That back goldfish. Nice defensive fish. Absolutely. Rook Hugger trying to pull it back here. Good kunai. Goes for the bubble shield. Pop right away. No, no. Saves the bubble. Oh, this is bad Got it for... on tech. Starts building meter. And this is bad for Ohai there. Rook Hugger building up another ultimate. Or super, I mean. Gets the poison. 
Oh, oh nice! This is bad. Doesn't combo though. He does get that bubble pop. Oh, and the goldfish with the four day. I, I, I didn't even think of that. I would have not have thought of that. Rook Hugger is a much better player than I apparently. <laughs> oh, nice back A. All right. Man, these goldfish are actually really hurting. Oh, hi there. We saw a good back A there getting rid of the Kunai and getting a hit. But oh, hi nice. there. Coming back in with three damage. Gets a good command throw. Goes in with a cape. This should get a bubble pop. Rook Hugger has oh, hi there at one bar of health. Does get hit by the That's fine. fish. Blue fish, you're fine. Yeah, it doesn't do damage. Is poison though. This He's is bad. Now you have a time limit. Okay. It's in. This is the bubble shield. Block. And oh, hi there. Oh. Gets it. Oh my goodness, I guess Rook Hugger was going for a Yomi counter there. Very interesting. Gets in for it. two damage, I like this a lot. Oh hi there, already putting the pressure in. Has Rook Hugger in the corner at three bars of health. Gets oh, in again. Stuff. Almost got two damage, only got one though. Rook Hugger is doing some pressure now though. Got Oh hi there off, and this may be all Rook Hugger needs. Oh hi there, at poison, goes for the mega fish. So the four day, it's, all right. it's the blue fish. Oh, oh hi there, still, still in this. this. He just needs to get in one time, he and he gets in good. with a cape. What a match, or a game there, should I say. Very well done from Ohio there. I thought that Rook Hugger had that, honestly. Rook Hugger opted to Hugger swap changing. things. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing a Valerie in our future. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe, maybe a Rook or a Geiger, actually. Oh, boy. Oh, goes for the Rook? Okay. Oh, I got those predictions, <clears throat> Mr. MKL. <laughs> You've got the insight. All right, all right. <laughs> I got that insider trading, that insider information. <laughs> Recover secretly sending me information like, hey, I'm going to be playing this. <laughs> uh. All right. Oh, this is so good from Ohio. I love these kunai so much. Okay, Recover gets in a bit. Oh, Recover is in now. It's the Thunderclap. Two damage. Oh, hi there at one bar. Goes for another Thunderclap and a jump. A. Hey. What a good play. So, so what are your thoughts on this matchup? I, I definitely think that Rook, uh, maybe not advantage per se, but not a horrible matchup for Rook. No, not a horrible matchup for Rook. He has uh, Air Super, which is super strong against um, uh, Sitsuki, especially when she's up there. He can use the uh, Earthquake to take care of Cape. Um, so he's got some real good options and only needs a couple hits to really take out a Sitsuki, so. Yeah, definitely. You only uh, need about, what, three mix-ups uh, and you're yeah. good to go. But Satsuki, oh, oh, good hi, stuff though. Yeah, oh hi there is doing a fantastic job of keeping Rook Hugger out, getting that pressure in, just using these kunai. This is really what you want to do. Just keep using kunai, do some jump A's, get that pressure. Very good vines. Good kicks though. Oh, and oh hi there got out of the corner. Took some damage for it, but better to be out of the corner. Is Rook Hugger in oh, though? Those splashes. Oh, the meaty dive kick. Nice throw punish. Okay, what do you got? Oh, missed the throw. Oh, I like this. Just some neutral game here. Oh, a very Takes risky the super. Hard crush. But super hard to punish. Oh, no, the jump back splash, though, taking out the cape in. Yeah, you have to be very careful of using capes as Setsuki against Rook or against Rook because when you use a cape against Rook, if Rook does a back jump, he can do so many. He has so many options to just beat your airs. Oh, for sure. Big claps there. Very good block. Yeah, Rook Hugger doing a great job here. Just, you know, keeping that pressure on. Not letting Oh Hi There really get out of any situation without scale. Absolutely. Like, I think every situation Oh Hi There has at least taken one point of damage. And now Rook Hugger is fully in. Has Oh Hi There in the corner. But Oh Hi There does get three damage with a combo for that super like meter. It. More pressure. Oh, this is risky. Jumps backwards, way. though. Nice. Oh Hi There doing a great job now. Needs to be yeah, careful. Don't let, don't let him go away. Yes. Don't let him get out of there. Yeah, I like that a lot from Oh Hi There. Do not just, like, let the Rook Hugger get out, right? But excellent patience to, to bait out the super again. Absolutely. Oh, good air to air. Very risky. You get, you... That's the first bad ninja okay. port we've seen. And that may cost him the game. Oh! Rook... Oh, no. Gets out of the mix-up situation. Very lucky. Lots of kunai here. I like this. Oh Hi There's playing a lot safer now. Goes for the kick. Gets out. Oh, barely gets Looking out there. Looking for the opportunity. Oh, hi there. Oh, oh this is some crazy oh, airplay here. Neither player hitting each other, going under and over. Anti air? Nope. I did a little bit wrong. Good block. Gets the throw. Oh, hi there. Might okay. be in this now. Mix up. Gets That's it. Oh, no. Doesn't get it. It gets the neutral A. It's safe. It gets the punish. What a play from Oh, hi there. Yo, match point for Oh, hi there. Let's go.
All right, Rook Hugger cannot lose this or he will be dropped into losers. Does get the Earthquake, is in now. Gets the neutral into oh, no. the throw. Oh, hi, there's in a bad Dude, spot. Situation. Oh, this no. may Big be clap. it. One more. It is oh, with the no. clap to the face. Very well done from Rook Hugger. One, one. Here's the issue, though, Mr. MKL. Rook Hugger may have won. But if all Hyther needs to do is swap to a... Oh, nope. Ops to swap. Sticks Stay with, with Satsuki. I respect it. It's their comfort zone. Goes for the kick. Gets the block. Gets the throw. Oh, Hyther in a good spot. Goes for the safe jump kunai. Ooh, gets a command throw. Oh, hi there. In a tough position now. Gets another command throw. Good windmill crushers here. And a normal throw. Very well done. From the Rook Hugger. Round two. Fight. Landslide. Good landslide there. Gets in with the neutral A. Oh, hi there in a bad position. Gets back or gets back aid. And another clap to the face. Oh, hi there. Really needs to rethink the game plan here. Perhaps going for some more kunai. Playing it a little safe. Gets punched in the face. Neutral A. Or neutral jump A. Good vines there from Rook Hugger. Rook Hugger doing a great job. Of just keeping the pressure on to oh hi there oh hi there gets out of the corner with a three damage combo with the super good kunai usage here good jump over the earthquake good block into the throw set up with that kunai yep that would have been ship damage no matter what very well done from oh hi there taking a game or a round oh both players just waiting for someone to make a mistake good block into the throw Tatsuki, very, very quick movement speed. I love the jumps, but that is going to be a head crush. It's going to be two damage to Ohai there and on the ground. Very bad. Does get the correct read there on the block for the neutral A. Lots of good kunai usage here. Right, both players just playing kind of neutral here. Waiting for the other one to make a mistake. Is able to get under the vines there, luckily. Doesn't get the Earthquake. Does get the Earthquake this time. Goes for the Landslide. Gets in. Thunderclock to pull closer. Good Vines to get past the Kunai and get a point of damage on Ohai there. Ooh. Either needs to be careful in the corner. Trying to find a way out. Does have that Super. Maybe uses that to get out. Good Vines. This may be it. And it is with another back A. These back A's putting in so much work for Rook Hugger. Ohai there really needs to be blocking these more. Good block. Ooh, but a good... Good for jump A. Does get the two damage. Three, four damage combo. Very well done from Ohai there. It got... Oh, Ohai there actually won there with the cape. Got barely under that. Very good vines. Goes for the thunderclap into the neutral A or neutral throw. And that's going to be it. Rook Hugger is going to take this, this game. And the match. 2-1. Very well done. Got to see Rook Hugger on the Rook. All right, we will be checking out Frosty Light. Frosty Light's match next. Be fine, Frosty Light here. Hopefully, you all are enjoying the stream so far. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun. That was. It's always fun to see players playing their favorite characters, right? I mean, obviously, Rook Hugger. I'm sure his favorite character is Rook, so it's great to see him playing Rook. Uh, I'm surprised that Ohaither actually did not swap to a Zoner. Uh, Rook has a very hard time with dealing with Zoners, but Ohaither was happy to stick with the Satsuki and definitely did a very good job, was doing very good against Rook Hugger, but Rook Hugger just able to, to get in, not let Ohaither out. Geiger. All right, looks like we're going to get a Geiger versus a Valerie match here. Maybe I just need to hop back in real fast. Yeah, that was a fantastic match, I have to say. And again, um, by the way, uh, I'll, I'm going to keep saying it because I think it's very important. Uh, the coronavirus has been a pretty bad thing that's been going on in the country recently uh, and the world, actually. So if you have any spare change, definitely donate. Uh, to help fight or to help the fight COVID-19 um, you can do the exclamation mark donate uh, it's two direct relief so definitely if you have a little bit of extra cash it would be super 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 useful all right it does look like it is going to be Sea Weezy here versus Frosty Light Sea Weezy does take the first round good flash gear from Sea Weezy well good flash gear on the zip 
Arcelite needs to maybe rethink his plan here. Oh no! Actually got the, the ground super. Got the chromatic war, but unfortunately that projectile from Seaweezy was able to get through. Does get the chip damage. Doesn't get punished for it either. Ooh, a bad flash gear, but Frosty Light not actually taking advantage of it. All right, does take advantage of it this time. Has to Weezy at two. A good four day from Weezy. All right, just seeing a bit, a bit of careful play from Frosty Light and a good Cyan Magenta there on the startup frames. All right, Frosty Light was able to take a game. Very good Cyan Magenta there into the yellow. Let's get some points of damage onto Weezy. Good rainbow past the gear. Wasn't able to get much though. Well, good rainbow got past the gear, but is going to get thrown. Only needs one more point of damage on Wheezy. Goes for the chromatic orb. Not going to get it. Wheezy opting to go for the ground super. Only gets two points of damage there. Does have Frosty Light at, at two bar bars though. Both at one now. And gets the throw on the rainbow. A very risky rainbow from Frosty Light. Barely able... Are barely missing, unfortunately. Good sign, or not a good sign, it does get the chip damage. Lots of good. I like this so much. This is so hard to deal with if you don't know what to do. I like this. Yeah. See, Wheezy saying, Oh, you don't know how to deal with drop gears? Let me just use it then. Oh, goes for the flash gear to try and get that chip damage. Unfortunately, Frost Light was out of range. Wheezy at two bars here. Oh, no, and jumps at the wrong time. Getting hit by that projectile, unfortunately. Alright, I think we're actually going to maybe be getting another commentator in here. Uh, Leontis might be joining us. Oh, a good flash gear there on the rainbow. Yeah, lots of good flash gears here from Wizzy. You have to be so careful. Here I am. Ah, hello Leontis, how are you? Good, good, good. Just jumping into this uh, spectate right here, running the tournament. Things are going pretty smooth. How are you guys enjoying the stream out there in the universe? <laughs> it seems like people are enjoying the stream so far. We've got about got a decent amount of viewership at the moment, so it's been going well. Uh, this match actually been going well as well. We have uh, C. Weezy at two bars here. Frosty Light still at a healthy four, but uh, Gus has to be careful here. C. Weezy almost getting two points there with the flash gear, but only getting one, a little bit out of range. Goes for this. Ooh, a very risky Chromatic Orb. Gonna take a lot of damage here. And a very good counter hit with the neutral A. Round three. Fight. Goes for the 4 day. They do trade. Better trade for Wheezy. Ooh, and but Frost like it's four damage there. See Wheezy coming back with a two damage combo. Goes for the Chromatic Orb. Wheezy able to get that safe jump. Gets the yellow for the chip. Frosty Light getting around here. Goes for the jump in. Oh, a bad rainbow. Did it at the wrong time. So actually got hit by the projectile and the flash gear. Oh, a very good neutral jump. I like that a lot. Gets the chip damage with the yellow. Weezy still had a very healthy, healthy life though. That can change in an instant though. Oh, do some zips here. Throw there. Yeah, yeah. Right. He's trying to get the throw so that when, when you land off the disc, there's, there's a small window where you can get the throw and it essentially just gets rid of Valerie while you're stuck blocking the disc. It can prevent a lot of damage coming in. Oh, wow. I was not aware of that. Very interesting. Yeah, if they do it too high, you got to be really careful with it. Absolutely. As a devout player, I understand that a lot. <laughs> oh, a very good throw there from Wheezy, though. I like that a lot. And a good cross-up hit with that drop gear into the neutral A for the two damage combo. We're also like, doing a, a pretty good job here, though, uh, just keeping the pressure on Wheezy. Um, just unfortunately, he, he's sort of pressing buttons at the wrong time when, when Wheezy has those flash gears up. Goes to the ground super to get out of this situation. We'll probably see a jump in for two damage. Three, one, two, yeah. Three, Three actually, damage, yeah. So got the neutral aid to the, to the flash. Absolutely. All right. Rossi Light could still bring this back, though. Valerie can really pump out a lot of damage very quickly, but unfortunately... See, Weezy yeah, gonna get you, that air to air. You gotta, you gotta block those gears. That's the thing about Geiger is like you, you look at a gear coming at you and you're like, well, I don't really want to block. I kind of want to just get over it, but that's exactly what Geiger wants you to do. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, uh, Geiger is such a strong character. Has very, very long reach with both their, their his aerials and his grounds. Very, you know very. what? Let's let's actually stay watching Sea Weezy because we got Sea Weezy versus Rogue Yoshi. 
Oh, that should be a fantastic match. Both of those players very good. Anyone who's new to the FS community, uh, Wheezy, I think that most would agree that he's probably one of, if not the best players in the game. Uh, Rogue Yoshi actually... A bit of a newer player, I think, in the community, at least as far as I'm aware, but been performing in fairly... In the, the Fantasy Strike community, yes, but also he's a, a Dragon Ball Fighters player. Oh, I see. So that's where he comes so from. Gotcha. bridging the gap a little bit to our game as well. I like it. Yeah, no, uh, the tournaments that I've seen uh, Rogue Yoshi in, uh, he's been just dominant. He's been doing a very, very good job. So this should be a fantastic match. Yeah, totally. I know they've been like sparring a little bit um, in friendly, so I'm actually curious for oh. my own self <laughs> just we to see like how this is developing and, and how much um, Rogue Yoshi is improving. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. You said that uh, Wheezy and Rogue Yoshi have been sparring? A little bit, yeah. Oh, this should be interesting then. Oh, we might be seeing a Geiger Mirror. We will be seeing... Oh, okay. Someone's swapping to the to the lump. What, what Geiger will we get today? Will we get the Colonel Sanders or will we just get the Classic? Oh. Oh, I may need to hop back in real fast. Oh yeah, me too. Looks like I'm stalled out a little bit. Yep. Oh, maybe they're just waiting. Oh, they want it. They want a, a double blind. Oh, that makes sense. I can respect that. I think sure, it, sure, sure. I, I think it's important to sometimes do the double blinds, especially when you know that your opponent is a very good player as well, right? Yeah, yeah. I think I think they're gonna. They, yeah, they're gonna agree to the Lum versus Geiger. So. All right. That seems fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited for this actually because I, I think I think this is a very interesting match because Lum can really get a lot of advantage if you get the right items. Yeah, totally. Um, it's it's the case where like Geiger really can get in pretty easily with time stop. Like a lot of people try to counter um, item toss with time stop, which is incorrect. Like the recovery on item toss is extremely low, so like that's not the thing you're looking for. What you are looking for is just Lum jumping and doing uh, dice like that or just trying to do melon stuff like you can just use your time stop to get in yeah, and get around some of his mix-ups here yeah i'm sure that we'll be seeing a lot of i would expect roll throughs the like roll under the uh oh, yeah, the, yeah. the gears like that yeah such a good yep. way of lum getting in right yeah roll roll is lum's best move in the matchup for sure it's, it's shit pressure it gets through gears um geiger's normals don't really interact that well with it geiger has to do other stuff to actually keep the pressure up but looks like Weezy's in control of this matchup just putting geiger into the corner making him afraid to use time stop because he's just going to get thrown because Wheezy's just being really careful not to do anything that's too slow. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Wheezy is just very known for just always pressing the right buttons, right? Never really doing things yeah. that are too unsafe. Always always doing things that he can do safe things with. A very good Yomi counter here. Getting some super right. reader. Yeah, I mean, that, that's that's his style of play. Is he just wants to give you just enough rope to hang yourself with, create situations that look enticing for you to, like, try things, but he's just waiting. So he's, like, we watched the, the two prominent players in Fantasy Strike, Rook Hugger and CBZ, and both of them sort of play this way. But you'll notice that in their, their play styles, um, Rook Hugger is extremely passive, extremely passive player to his success. Like, he gives people lots of rope. But CBZ knows how to turn the gas on a lot um, in some situations, too, so... Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, they they both know what works and what doesn't, right? But they yeah, also yeah. still have like these little, 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 little things that are different about their playstyles, even if they are fairly similar. But uh, Rogue Yoshi is gonna take this second round here, able to get that chip there. I have to say, it's always uh, it's always interesting to watch Rook Hugger and Wheezy play against each other as well, being such good players. But uh, I have to say, this matchup is very fascinating as well because both Geiger and Lum, I think, I think, I mean, who who do you think should be the aggressor here? I, I would say it's Geiger, right? Yeah, it's totally Geiger. He does have the tools to get in as well. Like as long as he can get Lum to the corner, you just gotta be really careful about how you throw your gears because Lum can just roll through them. Yeah, and, and it's you can't use forward A to like check Lum because the ball just beats it. That's true. Yeah, and yeah. I think Lum has a very a very decent matchup here. I, I would say it's about five five for both players. I think Geiger has a lot of tools to get in, but if you don't get in fast enough, if you don't use your tools properly, then Lum's just gonna take advantage of that. And it, it's, it's one of those so knowledge matchups, right? Like you could say we could say at the high level, it's probably five five um, when we talk about like Val versus. But there's these different stages of like matchup knowledge. Nice tick throw there. That was oh, good. this. Oh, if that was a coin, that would have been it, actually. Oh no! E, oh, no. Feeding him cherries there. Yeah, very unfortunate. One, two, three. That was a beautiful setup there with the uh, the fireworks into the melon. He fed him two cherries and still took the. Rest. 
Yeah, that was insane. Yeah, Sea Weezy do, yeah. doing a great job of just utilizing all of these items. Like, I think something that people don't recognize is that sometimes people that are newer to games like this, I think, say things like, oh, you know, Lum's just, you know, a luck character, right? But it's not really luck, right? Because you get the item and you have to know how to use that item properly, right? It's what you do with that item after you get it that makes it skill, right? Yeah, it's all about improvisation. And in fighting games in particular, a lot of times you're not actually reacting to stuff. You're basically making good choices. And then with those choices, you're, you know, guessing what's going to happen in the middle of a mix-up. We then... just saw a five damage combo, Leon. <laughs> yeah. Sorry to interrupt you, but that was no, 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 you're right. you're beautiful. Right. <laughs> that was so good from Wheezy. Just utilizing the items, the, the, the dice, just so well done from Wheezy. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. Like... That's not random. That's that's understanding the the setups that are possible. And in a game like Fantasy Strike, where it's so easy to leave tons of damage on the table, that's like the the real thing that separates the good players from the weaker ones is the knowledge that in a given situation, if you can react to something, you can get a three damage punish over a two damage, and that's often enough. You know, it's one less time to be right in order to win a round. Yeah, absolutely. So it, it's yeah, it's a huge deal. Yeah, something I do notice with newer players sometimes is that when I play against them. I will do things that, like, I'm like, oh, I'm going to get punished for this, and then I don't get punished for it. And uh, when they ask, and they ask questions like, you know, what could I do better? I say, make sure you know your punishes, you know? Make sure you know what what does the max damage in any given situation, right? Yeah, exactly. And and so you'll see things like a Grave will do a, a missed Dragonheart, and he won't take three. And then later in the round, the Grave wins with one HP. That's the kind of thing that separates players. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think players like Rogue Yoshi, players like Sea Weezy, players like Rook Hugger, they just know their punishes. They know what does max damage in a given situation. I mean, we're seeing it with Weezy here. I mean, he did five damage because he knew what to do in that situation as Rogue Yoshi was taking the damage. Yeah, that's exactly it. Oh, this is so rough. Look at this. There's a baby. There was a baby rook on one side and Sea Weezy on the <laughs> other. What do you? What do you do there, Leontes? Is there? Is there a way out? <laughs> is there a way I out? I hope you had enough health before it starts, <laughs> before the pain begins. That's how you get out. You had. That's a lot of situations in this game too. Like you said, when you're trying to give people advice, and they say, "Well, what do I do when X Y Z happens?" It's like, well, just like in Street Fighter Two, you're kind of just not supposed to be in that situation. You're <laughs> supposed to not let yourself get there. Yeah. And if you do, then hey, they, they they earned it and they get it, you know. Oh, this is so rough right here for Rogue Yoshi. We're seeing yeah, another bad situation. Chip damage there with the baby lums and the bomb. Oh, another, another baby, baby comes baby out. Rogue. Wow. What are, what are the chances of that? Uh, very unlikely, I think. Yeah. And gets the health. Oh, what does Rogue Yoshi do here? What does he do? He's in the corner. He's at one. Uses the ground super. I think he's active in the ball. I think he's going to hit him. He will. Yeah. yeah. Lands in the ball. Very unfortunate. Almost got out, but. Close, but no cigar, unfortunately. Goes for the flash here. Doesn't... Oh, okay. Didn't get punished for it, but then pressed the button and got punished. Oh, this is so rough for Yoshi. I mean, he's in the corner again. Goes for the carousel. Oh, and a perfect coin! Exactly what Wheezy needed there. And that's going to be chip set up right there. Oh, so we have a, an upset off stream, by the way. Oh, what happened? We're in Staccato Semibrev, defeated Rookhugger 2-0. Really? That is that yes. is definitely an upset. Uh, not to downplay Staccato in any way, but... Uh... Not at all. But Rookhugger is like definitely... Every tournament we've run, not to take away from the matchup we're watching right now, but every tournament we've run has been like Sea Weezy versus Rookhugger in the Grand Final. And it still might be. It still might be. Yep, yeah. We're but we're playing in a slightly play. different format too. Um, you know, we're playing in the singles and, you know, things are different. So it's possible. Yeah, Rukugger. That's what I get for staying up till 4 a.m. But anyway, back to this matchup. I think Wheezy is uh, definitely in the lead at this moment. Gets the dice out. Is at the lower health, but I think definitely in the advantage state here. Has two baby lumps walking. Gets a perfect firework as well. Yeah, Wheezy's just happy to wait this out, right? You know, hey, you know, I've got fireworks. Oh, yeah. I've got baby lumps. You took a point of damage from that. I've got dice, dice, and this is yeah. it. Well, maybe not actually. Rogue Yoshi, yeah, maybe a flash gear. Touch. Yeah. Okay. He's he's good. Oh, Rogue Yoshi. And, and, and that's what. Yeah. And that's the situation that you want to get into. Is it doesn't really matter what they get. If is you do a good time stop, you can escape all the pressure. Yeah, absolutely. And what a very good time spiral there. That that throw of a gear there actually did hit. See Weezy as he was beginning the startup of that roll. Does get oh gets the cross up, but doesn't follow through with the uh, with the combo. Unfortunately, I guess wasn't expecting to get that get that cross up. Oh, actually got hit by that bomb. Went for a gear for some reason. Rogyoshi not in an amazing... Oh, gets a neutral A on the roll. Very good Oof. punish. 
You do not see that very often. But Rogue Yoshi in the corner takes some damage. Oh, this is so much chip. So much chip he damage, Leon says. getting damagey items. Yeah, it's... Again, this could be a disaster for Lum if he if he doesn't get the right thing. Absolutely. Okay, goes for the uh, the ground super to get out of the corner. I like that. Goes for a forward eight. Misses the forward eight. Goes for the drop gear. All right. Murgoji playing safe, but see Wheezy up in the life lead, going for the roll, gets under that drop gear, and that's going to be it. Very bad drop gear there, but I don't think Murgoji really had a choice there. Just kind of had to go for something. Yeah, that roll is such a good move. I think I've heard some players say that, uh, like some good players say that R R uh, Lum's roll is maybe one of the best moves in the game. Uh, like, it's such a good move. It's, it's good. It's, it's yeah. an anti-air. It's ghost through projectiles. It's a good poke. I think uh, I will say uh, one thing that is unfortunate. As far as I'm aware, it doesn't go under Graves projectile. Graves is a little bit it's too to thick. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's too it's too dummy thick, as the kids say. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, very good two damage combo there with the Roland. Rogue Yoshi getting a little bit. Oh, gets it. Rogue Yoshi's taking damage that he shouldn't be taking. Lands on the baby Lom. Two damage with the Roland. Well done from C Weezy. That is gonna be it. Rogue Yoshi did put up a good fight though. Yeah, yeah. And our next match is going to be Staccato Semibrev versus the Zip Bomb. Ooh, that will be... Well, we're getting some really good matches. <laughs> I'm liking it. Yeah, especially considering Staccato just put Rook Hugger into losers. We definitely want to watch her. Yeah, I, I've actually seen... Uh, I think I've seen Staccato play Zip Bomb before in a Grand Finals, actually, in one of my tournaments. So, fantastic. They're they're both great players. I mean, we're, we're getting... I think we're... How, how's the bracket looking? Are we? How close are we to top eight? Oh, we're getting there. This is a round five winners match. So essentially, this is a top eight match. Oh, this is a top eight match. Fantastic. Good to see. So we're getting through very quickly here. Let them know in the channel that we are ready for them. All right. So uh, while we're waiting here, let me go ahead and shout out some more of our sponsors. We have Fight, fighting uh, Foenatics, fo uh, fighting herds, com uh, thems fighting herds community. First, first place in every tournament gets a game copy, one hundred fifty dollar pot donation to their tournament, and a top eight in the tournament gets a Predator Palette DLC key. Uh, yeah, so many, so many other sponsors as well. Uh, and again, I'm gonna mention it again, uh, Direct Relief. Uh, that's the main sponsor here. Definitely support them with some donations if you can for COVID nineteen relief. All right, looks like we are getting in here. All right, so Zipon here on the Midori. Uh, we saw him on Midori a bit earlier as well. Staccato on DeGray. Uh, I, I definitely think uh, DeGray is, is Staccato's best character, uh, or at least their main. Goes for the Dragon Form and gets the throw. Very well done from Zipon. Zipon just doing very, very well with his, uh, with his Midori here. Ooh, gets the counter hit. Unfortunate there. And that's going to be three damage. Doesn't get the fourth. Gets the Dragon Buster. Zipon, just a monster here with the Midori. Staccato definitely needs to rethink her game plan here. Oh, a bad Justice Kicks. That safe jump from Zipon going into the Dragon Buster for the punish. Very good. Th four damage combo. We are seeing some insane combos in this tournament so far. Oh my goodness, we saw five damage combos from Lum earlier, and now we're seeing four damage from Zip Bomb. But now we're seeing four damage coming back from Staccato here, and this should be it with the three damage jump in on the transform back into human. Very well like done. A, like a five to six damage sequence, oftentimes. If you can catch Midori in that detransition stage, like a lot of characters have ways to, to trigger the animation um, and, and just, just hold him in place while his meter ticks down. It's very sad. Yeah, I would say that one of the best Blank ones fair. probably nice. is Setsuki, right? Because, it, like, imagine if you do a four damage combo with Setsuki, and then he transforms back into human, and you get another three damage combo. Or even a four damage combo if you do... Yeah, because you can get a four damage combo with Setsuki without even using super, so... That's right. So you could do eight damage yeah, to Midori. Like oh, yeah. Definitely possible. Yeah, you need to be careful. This is what we're saying. <laughs> I try not to do options that get you stuck in an animation when you're ticking down as Midori. Absolutely. Yeah, something I've noticed about this matchup here, the Lum versus Midori, is that I think that Lum is favored as long as you don't give Midori cakes. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
Or give him cakes while he's a dragon. It, oh, rough. that's... Yeah, I've actually done that before where... Um, that is the nastiest chip there. There's just nothing you can do. That's... Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's just rough. I mean, maybe a jump in with a butt slam, but I don't even think that Zipon was in a position to... Oh, neutral A here. Oh, lots of damage. Four. Only four damage. Ooh, what a good baby lum there. Going for the dice here. Needs to get that cherry. Oh, Zipon gets the cherry and the jump in for two damage. I think a lot of people don't realize how far the dragon forms reaches. It's actually insane. Oh yeah, yeah. That jump, like you'd expect that in cer certain like distances, you can use your uh, your fireballs against Midori. But like on reaction, like it's just jump forward. Another baby rook. We are. Like, the that's the one. yeah. That's the third baby. <laughs> that's the third baby rook in what like just, yeah two games just on stream no less. Yeah, this is oh, insane. Baby Rook is just such a hard thing to deal with sometimes. I, I don't think it's as hard to deal with if you're... I don't, I don't know. What do you think? Do you think Baby Rook is worse for zoners or grapplers or uh, or like rushdowns? Uh, it's probably more of a brick wall for characters like Valerie. Like Even yeah. though she has ways to deal with it, she's making herself active to go inside and, and that can be disastrous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Valerie has a very hard time. But, oh, uh, the oh cake! Get God. it! Oh, back up game! Oh, no! You this is so it. bad! <laughs> See, you say you love to see it, but I'm sure Staccato is uh, crying right now. <laughs> oh, and gets the okay, talent wow. swoop. Luckily for Staccato, though, doesn't get that cake, right? That's I, I think that dying yeah, there was actually, actually better than not dying. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, jumps out thing, of it. Like, Midori has this like weird other resource. Oh, another cake. Oh, no. And the juggle. This is a huge disaster for Staccato. Staccato, stop giving Zip on cakes. You're just... You're just helping him. <laughs> I know that you think you can pick them up first, but you just can't. You just can't. <laughs> well, Zipon is going to take that that match. Uh, that's just... Oh, man. I, I feel I feel for Staccato. Very unfortunate. Yeah. It happens. I mean, this is what I was saying right when the match started, right? Uh, Lum is favored until you start giving Midori cakes because it's just so hard to do. I think, I think that Midori is kind of favored once he gets dragon form. So if you mm -hmm. if you don't give him cakes and you just keep the pressure on with like you yeah. know, mini lums and especially coins, I think coins are very good against against Midori if you can get lucky enough to get them a few times. Yeah, mini lums are also really really important. It's it's like against the zoners for Midori, he really has to get in. Like either he gets in before uh, the shenanigan starts, or he has to survive as long as he can until he can become a dragon. And that happens against Jaina. It happens against Grave. Like it's just how the the matchup works and. If you catch the Midori player being a little bit too impatient in the wrong sense, then it's really, really difficult for, yeah. for them to to succeed. It gets Argagarg especially. You oh, you you really have you, you really need to have dragon. Yeah, no, I actually was a uh, I was playing in a tournament um, uh, last last few weeks I think, and uh, I played against an Argagarg, and I was originally playing Valerie, and I actually swapped to a Midori, and yeah. I, I did yeah, it yeah. I did it because I knew that if I could get dragon form, I I would be I would be in the lead, right? Um, and that's kind of what I did. I just sort of waited to get dragon form. You know, I, I did go in probably a bit too much. I lost the match. Um, <laughs> so obviously it right, didn't right. work out, but, uh, that was my plan, right? To use the dragon form to get those wins. But, uh, I, I always like seeing Midori matchups. I know that, I know that your favorite matchup is the Midori mirror match, right? That's one of my favorites, actually. It really is. Yeah, like, I really enjoy the dynamics because yeah. it's like four matchups in one. If you count, like, what is it? It's like human, human human dragon dragon human because like that's different for you right yeah and then dragon dragon so it's like you have to play a bunch of different stuff within a single matchup and, I, and that's really cool and also you, you can, have to you, do you, all this meter management yeah you like can, it's you, really neat you could even argue five different matchups right because there's the dragon human on each side right so you have so you have to play human yeah. versus dragon and then they have to play dragon right, right. it's four right dragon mm -hmm. human human dragon human human dragon dragon oh and you're then, right you're, you're right yeah and then it's like almost a different matchup when one of the players is yellow. <laughs> so it's almost yeah, like yeah, the one. yellow adds another uh, aspect. Yeah, Midori just has yeah, so yeah, many yeah. things that the opponent and yourself you have to just keep track of. Uh, it's very, very interesting match. I have to say, it's, it's it kind of reminds me of Argagarg a bit with the the bubble. Uh, you have a like yeah. you have a lot of like once you see Argagarg having that ground super, you kind of have to play a little differently, right? Yeah, totally. Because you just you need to bait it. And it's not easy sometimes when he can play so safe. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go in and check on the Frosty Light versus Safety Man match because I want to catch uh, Organis versus the winner of that in loser side as All the right. next battle here. So we'll see where they're at. I'll let you know in just a sec. Looks like they're still in the first game. So if you don't mind jumping into that stream, All right, is uh, Frosty Light you said? 
Frosty Light versus Safety Man. It's actually round four in the Valerie versus Geiger. All right, sounds good. I will hop in there now. It's a little bit of radio commentary. Frosty Light got a big yummy counter there. Um, two HP to, to, to Safety Man's Geiger's five, but both characters on full super meter. Val's starting to get in. Hermetic Orb does not hit anything. Safety Man does not punish it. So oh, we got a little bit of a walk down here with some walking drop gears. Just trying to get that chip out. Frosty Light at one HP with some flashing chip. Gets in though with a jump B and takes the round. So it's 2-2 two, two now. So roughly even, even footing here for the stream. All right, sounds good. Ooh, gets hit by that. Oh, this is bad for safety, man. Uh, Frosty Light might recover? No, get the Yomi counter. <laughs> oh, so unfortunate. I guess the that wake up wasn't fast enough, unfortunate. Lands, oh, you, you gotta be careful with that. Gets the flash gear. Oh, will, will we see another Yomi counter? Okay, just, oh my goodness. I, that's rough. That is rough for Frosty Light there. I've never seen a Geiger use a ground super on a wake up. That's a, that's a, that's a new, that's a new strat. That's a new one. Right, right, right. All right, lots of zips here we're seeing. Lots of drop gears. Gets the rainbow over the flash gear. Going for lots of drop gears. Goes for the rainbow. Does get counter hit. Good Simon. Okay, gets the cross up yellow. Goes for the cycloid revolution here. Frosty Light only at two bars of health. Definitely needs to be careful. Needs to jump back here some. Who doesn't jump back at all. Gonna take... This may be it. Oh no, only gonna take one chip. Does get the cross up! Goes for the yellow, doesn't get it. Safety man blocks properly. Doesn't HP bars resetting now. Oh, what the criminal a... hitbox. Yeah, what a good rainbow. rainbow. That was so good. Just right under, right under the Geiger there. Oh, a bad rainbow that time. Gets counter hit with a jump A. Oh, lands on it. Unfortunate for Frostlight. Gets the rainbow, barely. Safety yep, man bounce. going for the short, the short the rainbow uh, space jam. Absolutely, like what evolution here? Oh, we're gonna take a chip here. Ooh, what a good chromatic orb on the drop gear. All oh, the weird false meaty there. Ooh, that was yeah, that was very strange. Gonna get thrown. This is bad for frosty light. Oh no, should have just blocked there. It wouldn't have mattered. You just you get you get the um the slow gear or the gear to the back A oh, to the right. flash gear. That's a true block string. You're and right. nothing Val can do anyway if she doesn't have super That's true. Ooh, bad jump time. And a good flash gear though. And now has a uh, Valerie in the corner, but not for long. Goes for the rainbow, gets flash geared out of it. Goes for the four day. Ooh, a good drop gear here, good air to air. Oh, Chromatic Orb, Safety Man barely unable to get that safe jump there, and Frostlight just coming in with a neutral throw. Round two. Fight. I do like I do love me some walk-up throws on the wake-ups. <laughs> oh, gets the air to air barely on the drop gear. Very well done from Frosty Light. A good rainbow gets another point of damage, two damage. Frostlight doing a great job. Good block! Safe jump on that flash gear. Gotta get a perfect victory there for round two. And yeah, very well played. It's yeah. a big part of this matchup is finding ways to get that jump B in when it's it's typically really unsafe against any Geiger that's just chilling. Yeah, absolutely. Uh safety man doing a very oh, bad man. flash gear there and not doing a flash gear there. Uh I don't actually know what safety man was doing there. Flash gear would have probably beat that rainbow. Oh, cleanly, yeah. I mean, a big part of this matchup too is Val needs to just space against drop gear really well and then just catch the recovery with blocked Rekkas. Like whether you get the hit or not, it doesn't really matter. You're getting some pressure. Absolutely. Good chromatic orb there to beat beat the throw. Gets a throw himself there. Ooh, a good flash here on the second throw. I will say Safety Man's doing a great job of keeping Frosty Light out this round. Just playing it safe and gets the four day. What a sneaky, what a sneaky yeah, move. Check. Yeah, very, very sneaky move. Oh, goes for the yellow, gets the cross up, but now kind of in a corner. All right, safety man kind of letting him out, goes for the rainbow at the wrong time, is able to block the gear. Interesting rainbow disc. I don't know. I don't think that was the best move per se. Maybe hoping that safety man was going to jump and gets the cross up hit though. Three damage, doesn't go for anything. Trying to bait out a flash gear, I would suspect. It's another cross-up hit. And that should be it. Gets the chromatic orb. Nice. 
takes Frosty, it to 1-1. One, one. Yeah, Frosty Light did a much better job there of just, you know, being more careful, being safer, and like you were saying, spacing things out properly. Right into it. No no counter picks. Yeah. We're not seeing many counter picks this tournament, actually. I think the only counter pick we've seen so far was uh, Rook Hugger sw swapping to the Rook, right? Yeah, that's what we've seen on stream for sure. There yeah. it is. Could be. Very bad flash gear. I do like this from Frosty. It's just playing it safe, right? I mean, look, he's not he's not waste he's not just doing things that are unsafe that can get beat by flash gear. He's making sure his spacing is correct. He's doing a great job here and gets in oh, wow. with the zip. I I actually thought Safety Man might have won that that exchange there. Yeah, he's a little bit too early on that forward A actually. So his his uh his hitbox, his active frames ended as she drifted. Yeah, absolutely. I really like that Frosty Light is, is really utilizing Valerie's movement speed here. Valerie, and I believe, has the fastest or, or tied for the fastest movement speed. So safe, yeah. or Frosty Light's just, you know, okay, you throw out your gears, I'll just block and just, you know, make sure to play out of your range of flash gears. But, uh, ooh, this, this is interesting. This is good. A I think this is okay. Yeah, flash gear, yeah. Gets it, yeah. One, two. Oh, ooh, but the chromatic oh, orb. Little bit. Yeah. A little okay. bit higher of a jump, or using the uh, jump B would have escaped that into a mm -hmm. to an airdrop gear there. Might have been fine, but it looks I, like he's already committed to a move. I think Frosty Light should definitely just play it safe here. Oh, nope, gonna get hit. Yeah, let's just win neutral. Big big jump back, drop gear. All the all the Val players understand that that's, that's the true like predator in the fight is that move. Absolutely. I do kind of find it interesting how Frosty Light is using the Cyan Magenta Yellow to get in from like half screen. Right. Ooh, a very good rainbow. Gets a throw. This is great for Frosty Light. Good, Hold good up, bait. And gets the yellow. Yeah, so see, right there, that's exactly what we are talking about earlier, is that that you did not take that risk. That's just an easy jump BBB, but just didn't react to it fast enough. Oh, these flash gears from Safety Man are losing him the game here. And gets the four, chromatic four warp. Juggle. Oh, it doesn't get it. Frosty Light could have actually so gone for a safe jump there. Well, it just would have been forward A juggle in the corner. Chromatic orb, you always got to look for that. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, this is a, oh, a, a easy throw, yeah. Easy throw. Yeah, for, for any for any viewers watching, here. if Geiger uses ground super and you're not pressing any buttons, just just spam your throw button. <laughs> oh, a little oh. bit mistimed on that. That could have been an air juggle. Yeah, that would have been huge, actually. Oh, bad rainbow. Can't use rainbow when uh, just in neutral like that. That's a good rainbow, though. Just with a zip to get over these. I mean, Safety Man is just kind of backing himself in the corner, but does get two damage. Oh, back chromatic orb. Oh, barely missed the four day, but does get the air to air with that kick. Mr. Long Legs Geiger over here. Okay, starting the round with full meter has a chance to potentially close this out. Oh, that's a trade he didn't really want. Yeah, you do not but want you to take You kind of take, you could, yeah, you, you kind of take this. Hold your and block stun. We'll see what the mix up is. Ooh, oh, just, okay. Was, yeah, was or, I think already in the rainbow maybe. Possibly, yeah. Or, or just Frosty Light just didn't want to play a guessing game that could lead to more damage. That's fair. It's like, just take one, you know? Mm -hmm. Say, hey, you did it. You got me at a good time. Absolutely. Doesn't get the yellow. Does get the okay. throw on the on the fall down, though. Oh, nice but the Yumi can, yeah. Uh, I believe we're going to see a Cyclo Revolution here from Safety Man. Why? Uh, yeah. Still with these, these time stop. I am. Not mix ups. Oh, but it actually worked. <laughs> I, I, I have no words, to be honest. I don't I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay, we're at match point for both players now. Are these are these are these wake up are these wake up ground supers from Geiger? Oki Oki ground supers. Yeah. yeah. I don't I don't. Is I don't it know. the new meta? Is it the new meta? Is it the new way of playing Geiger? <laughs> I will say it is it is not the new meta. But sometimes <laughs> when you when you do things that are off meta, you can surprise your opponent. And that, oh, this is so good! This is value. it. Big juggle. Well done from Frosty. I love the jump in with the rainbow safety man falling for it. And that's three damage, yeah, unfortunate there. I mean, Valerie can just really take away your health just in, a, in an instant, right? Yep. All right, so next matchup is going to be Organis versus Frosty Light. And then we'll, after that, we're going to head over to Winterside. We're going to watch C. Weezy versus... Oh, fantastic. Yeah, we're going to get some more top eight after this. That's right. It'd be fantastic. Oh, and it looks like, uh, just for the viewers, uh, Mr. MKL seems to be uh, winning his matches as well. Yep, that's why I'm here on commentary. So. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> Waiting for him to win out or lose. Good luck to him. Hopefully he, he stays in. Uh, so long he cannot commentate anymore. <laughs> yep. 
Yep, yep. It's been a great tournament so far. Some crazy matches. I mean, uh, I, I, I'm my favorite part about the tournament so far is that we got to see like three baby rooks. You know, gotta love the <laughs> right. baby. Like that's just the best part. I mean, nothing is going to top that. <laughs> It looks like we're getting in. We're gonna see. Yeah, a li li little bit of Yomi history. Um, in in a grand finals of a, a major Yomi tournament, if you guys know what that is, it's a card game that these characters are based on. Um, Lum has this, this poker mechanic, where, or this blackjack mechanic, where you can play like blackjack off the top of his deck, and he has a way of to bust if you do if you hit a joker or something. It's it's if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but that that rarely happens, but it happened in grand finals of like a 100 person tournament, and it was incredible. Oh, wow, that's insane. So L Lum likes to roll the dice. <laughs> yeah. I I've definitely seen my fair share of those kinds of... I used to watch a lot of card games uh, like Magic the Gathering, so I would see some crazy things from pros where they need to draw like one specific card and then they would draw that card. Oh yeah, there yeah. it is, exactly. So this is this is a, a matchup close to, close to my heart, Val versus Rook. And as I was saying earlier, there's three phases to this matchup. First, when you're brand new to it, um, Rook dominates it. It's like 9-1. Mm -hmm. If they don't know what to do, like Rook just press the C over and over again and you die because your offense isn't clean enough. Once you clean the offense up as Val and then you know what's going on, you know the little tricks and, and, and traps you can set for Rook, it becomes 9-1 Valerie. Oh, that's an amazing juggle off that Yeah, that was beautiful. And I think we're seeing that right now from Frostlight. He seems to be spacing out his cyan and yellows correctly. He's backing up. He's not letting Organus really get in there. Well, good finds though. Oh, and this may be three damage. Frostlight at one point of life here. And that's it. Good neutral aid from Organis. Yeah. So the, once once Val knows the tricks and traps, then she starts to dominate the matchup, and it, it just becomes a thing where Rook doesn't know what to do, and he's hitting things at the wrong time. But then at the end of the day, it's probably close to five. Mm -hmm. But it just it can look really really lopsided depending on oh, the. Oh, uh, what a good yeah. command throw there! De it, depending yeah. on the level of knowledge for both players. Something I will say that I do notice with Rook, though, a lot in this matchup is that if you can get in on Valerie, you can just do uh, jump forward A's and just kind of oh, like... Yes. Because, like, Valerie doesn't really have the best aerials when you're that close, right? Right. And that's going to be three damage! I mean, Frosty Light at least got a point, right? A point of damage there. Oh, Neutral yep. Light. And oh, neutral. does block. Forward A, two chip. Oh, and this Spin is it! No, it's not it! It's not it! Zip! Or Frosty Light was able to zip past it, barely, and got three damage with a back A. Now has Organus at one bar. Frosty Light can bring this back and does with a forward A! Yeah, Leontis, exactly you, you thought it was it. Rook. You thought, thought it was I, it. I, I, I said spin to win. I was, I was convinced. <laughs> and Frosty Light said, no, Leontis, I am still in this tournament, but maybe not for much longer because now Arcadas has me in an Oki situation, and now it is it. Very well done for Arcadas. Again, it's there. They're playing extremely well. In the Rook versus Val, maybe we'll see Frosty Light make a switch. I'm not sure what else they play. Um, I am not sure either. Nope, sticking with the, uh, the Valerie. Yeah, again, like I would. Like I, I, I feel comfortable in this matchup despite having some of the stronger rook players. Oh, oh the double! <laughs> oh, it's unfortunate. See, it's a, it's a knowledge thing. Like it's just knowing what is safe to do. Mm -hmm. I, I'd like to see more back A's. I think from Frosty. There we go. There's a back A. Yeah, it's it's oh. it's tough because if you do it too far away, then C grab just eats that for free. Or or just jumping over it like that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The jump A is what Rook wants to do most of the time. And you got to just play in a way that defeats that. And be careful with discs. And, and it's just, it's a very, very oh, complicated matchup. Oh, no, you didn't have time, Frosty Light. Unfortunate. Three damage, more than half. Nice. Jumps in, goes for the up. command throw. Organis just doing a great job here on Rook. Round three. Fight. So going into the next round with full super meter, Frosty Light in the driver's seat. Oh, does no, another goes throw. for the immediate jump. That's a, that's a setup right there. You can do a guaranteed Yummy counter setup if you Ooh, think the Oh, gets rook the chromatic or barely though. I thought Organis yeah, was going to get over. a little bit too thick. Oh, the crush, you're done. No. Oh, at least you went out in style, I suppose, right? Thrown to the ground. Yeah, so here, I, I actually really like to play sort of safe until I have super and or, and, and Rook doesn't mm -hmm. as Val sometimes. But it really oh, is positive no, EV this to go is in. maybe it Neutral for Frosty Light. Gets a Yomi, a Yomi counter. counter. Very good read here. Jo oh, didn't go for the jump in. Okay. okay. And oh, yeah, catches yeah. the immediate jump with the forward A and Organis is going to take that two. Yeah, 
Um, very well done from Organis and from Frostlet as well. Unfortunately, Frostlet was not able to figure out the matchup. Yeah, and sometimes it just goes that way. It just it's a it's a tough matchup um, for both players. That's that's what you what you want. You know, you want it to be tough for both players. Yeah, ten zero both ways is the way to go. <laughs> One hundred percent. All right, so I believe you said we're going to be watching uh, C Weezy and Sir here, right? That's right. Yeah. So uh, I have not seen Sir play too many uh, too many tournaments recently, but a fantastic player from the ones I have seen. Yeah, I think looking on, I think they're in diamond at the moment. I I, I think Sir has crested the the the, the peak. And gotten to master in one of these seasons. I, I don't remember exactly. Yeah, I believe Sir was in Masters in one of the seasons as well. Uh, I know that C Weezy is in Masters at the moment as well. But then again, I'm also in Masters, or I have been in Masters, and I am, I have not won a tournament before. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Geiger to Gray now. Yeah, this is an interesting matchup. I mean, I, I think that really as the Gray, you want to be using your Ghost on the Time Spirals. At least that's how I would do it. Um, yeah, yeah, and you really want to be careful about jumping in like that when Sea Weezy has that has that gear meter, right? So I was literally going to mention the tech that Sea Weezy's about to use, and he straight up did it right in front of us. So what he's going to start doing is, if he expects to gray to use a ghost to try to beat a gear, he's going to stick a forward A out, get Geiger caught by the ghost, and allow the uh, the gear to pass through. And and we saw it happen earlier in the round. Watch for that a bunch during the set, just to prevent DeGray from truly being able to stop these projectiles from repressing him. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and this goes back to like, I mean, I think Fantasy Strike is a great example of, you know, the more knowledge that you gain from playing the game, the better you'll do overall. Like just having right. the knowledge in this game, have, knowing what buttons to press, when to do things, it's it's such a great skill. And I think the same thing can be true for it, for any game, any fighting game as well. Like if you have a lot of knowledge of a matchup, you're just going to do fantastic. Yeah, and so this game, because of the lowered execution barrier and the simplicity of the gameplay and the, the low amount of moves in the toolbox, it becomes almost more... Uh, that's the main skill that we're testing. If there was a pipe um, to, to determine like what is important in Fantasy Strike, that's like the biggest piece of, of the puzzle there. Yeah, it's definitely all... It's a lot more about like the choices you make look at these, and, look at these and what gears. you're doing. Yeah. Yeah, these Just getting so those good. gears in, making them block those. Absolutely. That's like DeGray's main advantage in this matchup is like having a thing to say, hey, projectile spammers, you can't do that to me. But, a, but Sir was able to get in this time, uh, gets gets past that gear jumping around for the cross up hit. Oh, nice. could have actually maybe maybe even landed in time to block. Jump it, A would have been safe. Jump yeah, A would have been safe. Exactly. Went for but the wrong jump B did the, uh, he went for it. We're seeing some stuff here that I was talking about in some early matches. When you jump like that, uh, they're not doing it just to look funny. Look at funny. that, chip damage. Yeah, Sir doing a great job here. Does get a point of damage. They trade. Bad trade for Sir, though. Gets a throw. Well done from Weezy. That was a safe jump attempt to catch the super. Mm -hmm. yeah, Weezy doing a great job with that tech that you were talking about, using these gears properly. Uh, I don't think this is going to be it for Sir. He should be able to do some jump backs here to stall out the Cyclone Revolution. Yeah. Oh, man. yeah, he has to. I think he get had over. to. Oh, he does actually get over. it. Yeah, barely though, but was able to. Gets in with a throw. All right, Sir's still in this, definitely. Okay, slow gear, knows it's going to come through. It's too backwards to kind of keep it on screen. Yep. Oh, could have gone for a throw there. Maybe baiting out a flash gear though. Oh, no, went for a ground oh, super. It tried, I, super. I think Sir was expecting a four day. Yeah. Fair assessment, but you know, such is the nature of counter supers. Absolutely. Good jumps here. He's taking the one. Yeah, he's gonna take a chip. Just very unfortunate. Ooh, gates the drop gear as well. Sir, nice anti I mean, gear. I mean, that I don't incredible. know exactly. I mean, Sir's just having a really hard time getting in on Weezy. Weezy's doing a great job at using these gears like you were talking about, using the drop gears to keep space, keep the pressure, keep the chip damage. Um, I don't know, maybe Sir should just be maybe going for some more throws, like jump in, you know, just and go for the throw instead of the, the ghost all the time. It seems like Sea Weezy's doing a great job of dealing with the ghost. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Organis in the chat saying, needs more parry. Yeah, needs I mean, more parry, yeah. you gotta, you gotta, you know, if you only parry when you win, then Midori, like, when you're correct, then Midori is the best character in the game and he's a wall of unstoppable, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> you parry literally everything. It's like saying in third strike, you know, just parry everything, lol. 
<laughs> never lose. Oh, very well done. Gets over the gear barely that time. He gets that three damage combo. We also saw C Weezy using some four days that, that round as well, trying to change things up a bit. You definitely want to be unpredictable in, in fighting games. You you don't always want to do the same thing unless, well, unless it's working, I guess, right? Yeah, totally. You know, I so, mean, I, it, do, the, do the thing until they stop you. I mean, what what the, the creator of this game, David Serlin, is famous for his run in Alpha 2 um, as Rose. Just smashing low strong over and over and over again to where that became like his nickname for a while. So that's a tactic that he he says in playing to win is near and dear to his heart. No, is I, doing I, the same thing over and over and say, if you can't deal with this, I just win and I don't have to think. Yeah, I have to <laughs> say, I have to say I 100% agree. I'm so glad that uh, that other people agree with me as well because I've, I've definitely been in games. So when I first started playing fighting games, uh, I think I, well, I've, yeah, I think the I think the first one that I really started getting into was Smash Brothers. And something I did with my with my college friends was that I would play zoners, right? And oh wow, what a good cycle revolution! Very unfortunate. There oh for nice, Weezy. I like that. He, he he was like walking forward to attempt to like push Degray into the gear, and because Degray has no actual reversal, like the mix-up there is literally I walk forward and push you into the gear. You must block it, or I throw you. So yeah, interesting absolutely. situation there. Oh, a good counter hit! Another good counter hit. See, Weezy doing a great job of just sort of like mixing things up not letting sir know what he's gonna throw out right like he, he's mixing in these these four days he's mixing in these throws after the drop gears the neutral is like look at this from wheezy like he's playing so unpredictably sir just doesn't know what to expect i don't even know what to expect <laughs> well very interesting maybe we'll see a flash gear here oh just a four day yeah four day will beat that as well Okay. Oh, this is so rough. Oh, gets Very over good. it. Does get thrown though. Ooh, oh, barely missed it. that back A. Eh? Yeah. Good he flash here. Wonky hurt boxes as usual. He, he has a ghost companion, but he's somewhat of a ghost himself. Yeah, this may be it for uh, Sir actually. Oh, yeah. jumps at the wrong time. Unfortunate, but Sir is not out yet. Still has some chances here. All right, I like this. Sir's playing a little safer. Oh, oh but takes the two damage. You hate to see it, Leontis. Oh, this is so rough. Every time they trade, it's bad for Sir. He's at lower health. Now he's in chip range as well. I'm getting a real, like, you know, Ace Attorney vibe from these men in these suits and a lot of just finger pointing at each other. <laughs> All right, but Sir did get a two, point, two points of damage there, which is good. I'll take a neutral. He's good. Flash gear from Wheezy. Gets that pressure off. Goes for the Cycle Revolution. So he's gonna have to. Oh, just going for it. Doesn't get it. Oh, goes oh, backwards. No. Oh, this oh is no. Oh no. The chip out. What an unfortunate set of that events. Was incredible. That was such an unfortunate set of events that happened for Sir. Oh no. Oh no, Leontis. <laughs> All right. So now with that matchup decided, um, our semifinals on winners is C Weezy versus Zipbond. But we're gonna take it over to the losers bracket where we're gonna watch. The Rook Hugger in Losers, which is a rare occurrence. Yeah, that will be an interesting match to watch. It's going to be... Versus Organis. And they are requesting blind picks. So I'm going to have them DM me on Discord which characters they'd like. Fantastic. It's always always interesting to see. I mean, I think that's important that if you feel like you need to do a blind pick, then go for it, you know? Hey folks, okay. Mr. MKL's back here. Ah, oh, hello, back. Mr. MKL. Welcome back. How has your uh oh you lost the Rook Hugger? Oh, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was great. Like at least I got to play him today in something under four hundred ping. So that was <laughs> Yeah, if if anyone doesn't know, uh Rook Hugger is notorious in the fantasy strike community for having horrible ping. And I can say that because we're friends, so he he, he <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> but okay, uh so this match is going to be Rook Hugger versus Organis, and we're going to get um, Rook Hugger playing DeGray against Organis's Midori. And with that, I am going to sign off and continue running. The good luck to you too, gentlemen, and uh, enjoy the rest of the stream, everybody. Sounds good. Thank you kindly. And thank you again, Leontis, so much for running the brackets. Uh, if, if you guys don't know, Leontis has been running all the brackets behind the scenes. I think uh, a lot of times uh, the commentators... Everyone knows who the commentators are, but no one knows who the people running the things behind the scenes are. And uh, they're the they're the true heroes of of tournaments. <laughs> Absolutely, it's a thankless job, uh, but somebody's got to do it. Absolutely. All right, let me try and get back in here. I think I might have not been able to connect. Yep, we have like I said, Organis with the Midori, 
Um, and Rook Hugger playing to Grey. That's interesting. I think Rook Hugger's been playing a lot of different heroes. Uh, do you know? Uh, do you know who Rook Hugger, or you would know who? who what did Rook Hugger play against you? Um, <laughs> against me? Uh, who did Rook Hugger even play? It's a blur now. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a blur. I don't remember. It was too traumatic for me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's usually my experience against them. Yeah, I think that's the experience of most players against Rook Hugger. <laughs> oh, a good Yomi, Ooh, nice counter. Yomi counter. What a massive read. Exactly what you need to get that pressure off from the Dragon form. Right. Oh, gets a good oh, neutral no. lane. And that's it. No Yomi counter this time. Goes in the human form, gets a good four day. It's the assist. Oh, could have actually gotten some more damage. Gets the parry not Just close enough. Just out of range. Yeah, very unfortunate there. Rook Hugger, uh, sorry, uh, Organa's fishing for uh, for parry pretty heavily here. Yeah, so I really feel like Organa's might just need to wait it out until they get the, the Dragon Form, right? I feel like Dragon Form is a much better form of Midori in this matchup. <laughs> oh, no! Oh. Don't go for the parry when you see a ghost. You cannot parry the ghost, unfortunately. You can block the ghost, though. <laughs> Ooh, a three Big damage jump combo. In. Yeah, that's a really great way to start this round. I'm surprised we're not seeing Dragon Form. Maybe trying to get the win here and then use Dragon Form for next. Here we comes a Dragon Form. Or waiting for this. Oh, goes to the neutral. He gets hit by the ghost. It's a normal throw, just a walk up throw, throw there. And the Ooh, yes. That was close. Big command grab. Yeah, that was very close. But Organis was able to get the correct read there. It still has about half half uh, half Dragon Form left. Yeah, they're in a really good position here. Ooh! Does get a point of damage, and that's going to waste some more Dragon Form. Goes for the ground throw. Commander, this is so much damage. Transform, big punish. Oh, oh no! No! Perfect. Oh, Solid that's, yeah. move by Rook Hugger there with the air to air, and then the pick up on the ground. Yeah, that was so well done from Rook Hugger. Just getting a lot of good reads there. But Organa's getting three but damage here. Going for the Yomi counter there, I believe. Ooh. Oh yeah, no! Really looking for those parries. Yeah, I think maybe looking for those parries a little bit too much. <laughs> this is the dragon form. Ah, it's a neutral and that's gonna get punished. Yep. Yeah, Organis went for a neutral A immediately, unfortunately. And Rukara said, you know what? I'm just gonna jump and use my ult because that beats your neutral A and it also beats your command grab. <laughs> yeah. Jump super from Degray is just the this crazy priority on it. Yeah, it has. A, I think it has a few frames of invincibility. I could be wrong about that, though. I do not play Degray. I'm actually very bad with Degray. He's probably <laughs> my worst character. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, that was fast. Rook Hugger making all the right decisions. I didn't even get a chance to explain how bad I was with Degray. The match was Okay, there we go. Organis gets the parry, goes for the throw, and the big, brave Yomi counter from Rook Hugger. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, but this time Organis gets a throw into the corner. Goes for another throw. Doesn't get it though because Rook Hugger has That's a here. few frames of oh, invisibility. No, that in is into the sweep. I like it. Three damage combo. We've been seeing a lot of good combos here from Dragon Midori this tournament. It gets the block. Goes for the counter hit. Oh, gets the assist. Oh, no, oh, you're too far oh, away. No. Too far away. Oh, gets oh man. The kick's picking up from behind. The backwards hitbox. Unfortunate. All right, oh, Organa's playing a little safer, but getting hit nonetheless. Went for a throw, didn't get it, not in range. Oh, no. Risky uh, drop kick, easy yeah. punish. Trying to uh, get Rook Hugger on a jump, I think. Goes for the sweep, does get a parry. There okay. we go, okay. Gets. Yep, walks forward for the auto command grab, I like it. Absolutely gets a four day. And Into the throw for the round. That was, ama that was an amazing, amazing round for Organa's. All Organa's needs to do, they need to do that two more times. <laughs> Well, they've got the momentum now. Hopefully, they can keep it up. Absolutely. Oh, these dagger falls. Rook Hugger just beating everything Organis was trying to do there. That's for the four day. It's another. Organis is going for way too many parries, Mr. MKL. Really needs to just t tone those down a bit. It's it's sort of like if you're if you're playing Setsuki, right, and you're going for too many ninja ports. That's kind of similar with the parry. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's such a get strong out. option. Leads to strong mix-ups, but yeah, you're gonna get hurt for it if you do it at the wrong time. So. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, keeps oh, the human transform relatively safe there. The forward A anti-air counter hit. That would have actually been four damage there, I think, because Rick would have been able to get the bounce hit as well. 
Good oh, three damage, okay. though. Organis has been starting these rounds very strong, but not able to close them out, unfortunately. We'll see if they can close them out this time. Gets the dagger fall. Good blocks. Gets the, the parry. There's the parry. And to the forward A. Excellent choice. I love it. All right. Organis picking up some steam here. Needs one more win here to tie things up this match. Good forward A from Recover. Just the jump in. Doesn't get it. Ooh, good air to air. Good job. Oh, but Organis in the corner. Going for the dragon form. Oh, Recover ready oh, with the jump. Gets the throw. Oh, smooth. Very well done. Stop the ghost from hitting. Oh, Watch for Chip. No. Yeah. Tries to jump away, worried about Chip, and then Rook Hugger just taking it there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my session ended as they won. <laughs> but very well done from the Rook Hugger. Um, actually, I think Organis could have just blocked that there. Uh, because I don't think the first uh, the first kick hit. I, I don't think it was, but I think that was their concern, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. But uh, very well done, very well done. So we, uh, let's see, how is, how is the bracket coming along? I believe we are in full top eight at the moment, which is absolutely fantastic. I know that we are waiting to uh, do the winner's finals with C. Weezy and the Zip Bond. Again, uh, as, as I've been mentioning many times, direct relief, please donate if you got a little bit extra cash. It is to help the COVID-19 relief, which is just, it's been getting worse and worse every, every day. Every time I go on my phone, I just see news on COVID-19. I, I saw something on my Twitter, apparently a cat, a cat got COVID-19 or something. I don't want to send out fault. Yeah, I saw something on Twitter. It said a cat may have got, they don't know for sure, but it may, I'm scared now because I have a cat. I don't, I don't want my cat, I don't want my cat to get that. But uh, yeah, definitely yeah, if you've got the- It's kind of crazy out there in the world these days. So, I mean, this is, you know, it's something that we as a community can do. We can get together and we can have some amazing games, you know, still engage in our community activities and do some good for direct relief. So yeah, 100%. I think it's a really important cause. Yeah, I think it's I think it's fantastic that all the it's not just Fantasy Shark, right? It's so it's like thirty eight plus games that have just come together uh, under uh, quarantine under the quarantine report, report, and they're just all helping raise money for direct relief for COVID nineteen relief, and I think that's I think that's just beautiful. Uh, it, it it gives me faith in humanity, Mister MKL. It it, re, it it reinstates my my faith. It is, it is very invigorating, so I'm happy to see it. Thank you, everyone, for coming out and for supporting. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And, uh, yeah, and uh, Quarantine Rapport, uh, they're, they're a great, great, great organization, it seems. Um, I'm just glad I could be part of it. <laughs> That's it's fantastic so far. And thank you all in chat. Uh, read some chat here. How's it going? Uh, yeah, some people saying brutal stuff that game. Uh, will this game get new characters? Uh, I think... I think it's a cat has been tested. Yeah, I will. Um, this game is based off of Yomi, right? So Yomi has other characters. Oh hi there. Uh, yeah, no joke, Organis. Yeah, that was um, that was an amazing match, honestly. I uh, absolutely. Well, Mister Mk, uh, you you've been running some tournaments as well, right? Like you've been uh, you've been doing your uh, your Toronto tournaments online recently, right? Because of the quarantine. Yeah, absolutely. Our Toronto local uh, Stun City. Uh, thanks to Toronto Top Tiers actually, has um, moved online to Stun City Online. So we've been opening it up and we have all our local folks in there as well as, uh, you know, any anybody from outside the city who might want to join in and compete in our local. It's been a fun, it's been a really cool experience. I've been enjoying it. Yeah, absolutely. I, I've actually entered a few. Uh, I've, I've lost. I got to top eight in one of them though. So that was... I know. I was very, <laughs> I'm, I'm very happy to see you host all your tournaments. So it's nice to see you be able to come out and play in another person's. Yeah, uh, it, it turns out that when you don't play in tournaments as frequently as other players, you tend to not be as good. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you might get out of practice. Just just a, just a tad bit, but uh, I enjoy commentating. I I really do. It's a lot of fun. So I'm I'm happy to uh, allow other players to play in tournaments. But now that you're running your your tournaments as well, I can sometimes hop in every now and then. <laughs> well, it's good to have you out. Uh, but uh, we we got we got a tournament going on right now. So what do we got? What do we got happening here? Yeah, I believe we are waiting for. Let me find. I believe we're waiting for Rogi Yoshi to finish their match, and then we'll be checking out Daniel. Uh, actually, you know we could let's check out. We could probably check out a bit of the end of Rogi Yoshi's and Ribbon's match up here. Oh no, I think they may have just finished actually. Yeah, and seems that. like. Oh, speak of the devil. <laughs> Alrighty, so Daniel and. Who managed to take that match? That's a good question. 
Who 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 do you bet on? Who I well I can't I can't say but I can't play favorites. I'm the commentator. Oh, it looks like Rogue Yoshi got it. I think Rogue Yoshi is uh, in. Yeah, Rogue league. Yoshi took that one two one. Very well done, so from Rogue Yoshi. Moving on to lose loser side here. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, again, uh, we saw Rogue Yoshi play against Rook Hugger. Uh, I believe it was Rook Hugger, or no, it was Sea Weezy. I'm sorry. Uh, Rogue Yoshi was playing against Sea Weezy, which put him into loser's bracket. Rogue Yoshi, a great player. Leontis was talking about how apparently Rogue Yoshi and Sea Weezy had been practicing a bit together. Uh, so. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Um, yeah, Rogue Yoshi's a bit newer to the community as well, uh, but great to see him. Uh, Leontis again. Leontis apparently knows a lot about these players. Uh, came from Dragon Ball Z uh, uh, fighters, so. Or Fighter Z's? Is it? It's it's Fighter Z. Dragon, Dragon Ball. Ball Dragon Ball Fighter Z. There we go. Or yeah. Dragon Ball Fighters. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Could just be Fighters with a Z. Oh, uh, apparently Leon is saying uh, Dragon Ball Fighters, not not Fighter Z. All right. There you go. Just, just, just Dragon Ball Fighters. I'm sorry, I don't I don't play Dragon Ball Fighters, unfortunately. <laughs> I think we're waiting for Rogue Yoshi to start here. But yeah, no, uh, fantastic tournament so far. I know we keep saying it, but we're waiting for our game to start. <laughs> um, yeah, if, if you guys don't know, uh, definitely uh, follow Quarterly Report. Uh, rep rapport. Announce it correctly. Uh, quarterly rapport on Twitter and everything. Uh, if you'd like, follow me on Twitter as well. I'd love, I'd love you to follow me. I, I appreciate any support. And Mr. MKL also has a Twitter as well. I believe it's, uh, I want to say it's Mr. MKL underscore, right? Yeah, it's at MRMKL underscore. Everyone always forgets the underscore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, definitely follow everyone. Uh, and and the other games as well. Um, if if you're not. If you haven't checked out the other games, uh, they're running Smash Brothers Melee. I think they're also, I think there's a Smash Brothers 64. I think they're running that in the tournament. I, I believe they are, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, I, w I remember I was looking through it and I saw that. I was like, that's, that's really cool. Like, <laughs> that's, uh, there's a Tetris, right? Tet there's a Tetris tournament. Yep. That's yep. amazing. The, uh, the hard drop folks are running Tetris, which is amazing. Yeah, that's fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. You know, I actually was, um, I never really got fully into Tetris, right? But I did, uh. I did watch a few matches uh, before, and it's it's kind of fascinating. It's very zen, very zen. Oh, oh, Tetris, Tetris is totally my jam. Super hardcore, <laughs> super hardcore into Tetris. Oh <laughs> man, I I've, I've de devoted far too many hours to that. Ah, maybe you should be uh, commentating on the Tetris tournament, Mister Mikhail. <laughs> oh no, no, I'm not. I'm I'm no James Chen. <laughs> I don't know who James Chen is, but I, no? I'll take your word for it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm. Is he a very uh? Oh, I'm getting an invite for someone to watch. Yeah, he's a he's a he's a big FGC figure and uh, also involved in the Tetris community. Does does commentary on there for the Tetris World Tour. Oh, that's great. That's great. Yeah, I always find it fascinating. Like you know, I think a lot of FGC stuff is very community oriented. A lot of people just you know taking the time out of their days to run this stuff. You know, which is fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. All right, we should be getting in here hopefully. Just waiting for them to pick their character. Hopefully the ever important are. color selection. Yeah. I believe they're perhaps. Okay, uh, Leon's is saying that they're starting in a sec. Maybe just getting the last few things set up. Well, as we wait, I guess I'll finish the story that I had. Um. Oh wait, what was the story? It was an interesting story. I don't remember the story now. Well, the game's starting, so it doesn't matter. Nah, they're gonna beat you. They're <laughs> gonna beat you to it. Yep. <laughs> They're like, no, no, no story time. Let's play. And no story, no, no stories from you. We don't want to hear your stupid stories. All right, Rogue Yoshi here on the guy or Daniel on the Midori, and um, yeah, Daniel's gonna get in right away. Interesting parry there. Ooh. Okay, both players kind of whiffing lots of things here. Oh, gets in with the butt slam. Ooh, a very good counter hit. Into oh, a and the jumping combo. Well done from Daniel. Right over top of Geiger's forward A there. That was nice. Yeah, so, and this should be a, a good matchup for Rogue Yoshi. It's a zoner versus a grappler. Oh, a good air to air. Okay, I like this from Rogue Yoshi. He's just, you know, taking a little bit slower this time. Goes for the dragon form. Oh, get, doesn't get it, but does get the normal throw. Oh, jumps okay. at the wrong time. Oh, these jumps are very Ooh, bad for answer, Daniel. Yeah. Daniel needs to be careful. Oh, gets it. Oh, but doesn't get the combo. Only gets right. one. Yeah, he's going to transform back into human. He's going to transfer back into human. 
Ooh, didn't four no damage. Punish, though. Didn't didn't wait. He actually made dragon block first. So <gasps> Daniel won that right there. All he had to do was do a four day after the jump in. Unfortunate there for Daniel. We'll yeah, you got to recognize those opportunities. Well, bad flash gear. Oh, Gonna get, get over top. Nice. Not a backwards throw though, so not in the corner. Does get back into the corner though with the drop gear. Oh, these these uh these sidekicks, but the parry. Daniel doing a great job here of just getting in and gets the command throw. All right, too far away for a punish. Oh, a dragon for him, maybe a neutral A. Tra Ooh. No drop gear wins. Yeah, I actually think Daniel went for a four day as well, unfortunately. Oh, and these counters. Rogue just doing a great job of just sort of using these four days properly, you know, using these drop gears to just get around Daniel, not letting Daniel do much. We should be seeing some time spirals here. Yeah, here we go. Into the flash gear. Wasting that time. Going into the... Oh, into the throw. Nice throw punish. Absolutely. Ooh. Spaded Staying out the parry. just outside of that parry range. Absolutely. Daniel has been getting a decent amount of parries. And speak of the devil, there there's another one. Into a command throw. Jumpable. Jumpable indeed. Oh, no. Guess the knockdown. But... What are we going to do with Dragon? Oh, oh a, a normal throw into the back eight. All right, just needs one more good hit here. Maybe oh, a Talon Watch your jump-ins. Oh, no. oh, no. As you say it, watch your jump-ins. Apparently, Daniel was not listening to you, Mr. MKL. Oh, but watch okay. your jump-ins. Rogue Yoshi. Big three damage into the buster. This is bad. Two neutral ace. Doesn't Transform. get it. Transform. Into the throw. corner. All right. the I like it. All this pressure now. This is rough. That's oh, four so damage. Five damage into the corner again. Gets the parry on the drop gear. What a Very play. Very time parry for the round. Absolutely. All right. Lots of neutral jump A's. Oh, timed the parry wrong. Takes three damage for it. Into the back A. Goes for the dragon form. And he gets the dragon buster. Good command throw. Oh, this is going to get punished with the neutral A. Or a neutral throw. Yep. Oh, no, out of range. Oh, just out of range. Like, barely out of range. Unfortunate there for Daniel. Gets punished with... Ooh, gets in. Oh, this is bad. Watch your chip. Oh, oh. lands on it. Should have gone for a Talon Swoop. Should have gone for a Talon Swoop. Should have, could have, would have. All right, we're going right back into it. Absolutely. I'm surprised Daniel's sticking with the Midori, I have to say. Ooh, a good flash gear. Yeah, that's, that's, a a, that's a big brave drop kick from the beginning of the round there. Absolutely. I like these I like how Daniel's jumping over these these time spells properly. Keeping the range. I like this from Daniel a lot, right? Like he's just waiting to get Very dragon. Patient. Form. Yeah, yeah, like he look at this. He already has dragon form. That's excellent. Uses it right away too. Oh shit, he really oh, needs to be doing neutral. Oh, still works. Got it though. And gets the command throw, Dragon Buster. Rogue Yoshi in the corner with one bar help. Ah, uh, he's out of range, so he's not gonna be in range for a normal throw. Yeah, unfortunate. Oh, these the good four day. Angel just needs one more point of damage. Good flash carry. He's gonna lose dragon for him. This is bad. Oh, a bad oh, parry. Par oh man. Oh, this is that was. What do we got? No flash gear. The drop kick. That was Daniel's round to lose, Mr. MKL. He had that. He had that in the bag. He just needed one more point of damage. But Rogue so Yoshi just able to get out of the corner with that ground super. Get that. Get that full screen advantage using those time spirals. Just pressuring daniel from a distance as geiger does oh two damage oh, no. jumps on the gear as well the dragon form. oh no gets the counter hit the stand no oh daniel just getting pressured so hard in the corner with these time sprawls these drop gears these flash gears what do you do it's a good back hit counter hit all right in the corner though oh the yeah he needs to stop jumping in when uh when the rogue when rogue yoshi has those those gear meters. Daniel's just playing it safe. Oh, tried yeah. to bait out the four day. Didn't get it. He's fishing. Oh, needs to be more careful with these jump ins. A good throw from Rogue Yoshi. Rogue Yoshi just need and that's it. Daniel's doing way too many jump ins at the wrong time. He's jumping in just in in the open when before Rogue Yoshi even does anything and he's getting punished. Yeah, like this. Like, oh, absolutely. He just needs, he just needs to walk forward. Just walk forward and like do some like do some 
do some back and forth walking, you know, to block walk, it. Walk and, walk and block is super powerful. Like, yeah, absolutely. you need to use that. Just force him into the corner so he has to do something like this to get away, right? Yep. Now he doesn't have his resources. Yep. Yeah, you can't just jump in. Just just walk just walk and block. Just walk and block. Walk forward, block something. That should be it with the forward A. Daniel just, just, mm, just kind of walking into these flash gears. I have to. Yeah, have, Rogue Yoshi. Rogue Yoshi getting the read there on Daniel in that in that last one and uh, taking it 4-0. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. All right, so we are going to be checking out, I believe, Wheezy and Zipbon next here. All right. Yeah, I believe we are in top four. Let me confirm real fast. Okay, we're not in top four yet, but we are getting there. So it's going to be fantastic. So let's go ahead and check out Wheezy here. I can get in. All right, looks yeah, like they in. are ready. Yeah, so everyone, if you are curious, we will be checking out C Weezy here versus Zipbon, the one that we're in now. Then we'll be checking out Sir and Shops after. Then Janet versus well, whoever wins. It's yeah, we're 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 making we're making good time here, man. It's uh what yeah. we're at winners finals already. This has been an amazing run so far. Yeah, one hundred percent. It's been it's been great. It's been absolutely great. I believe we're just waiting for them to pick. Let me hop out. Maybe I got kicked for some reason. I think we're just waiting for them to pick their characters here. You know, I do. I, I dig the fantasy strike music, Mr. MKL. Like I'm just sitting here, bobbing my head. Just yeah, just grooving. Just chilling, you know. I know. I've been picking the library as my stage just for the uh, degree theme. So uh, oh, it's choice. I do love me some. Do I, I do love me some library. It's great. I love the scenery too. It's fantastic. I, I I still think my favorite though, in terms of aesthetics, like art, like the. What it looks like is Geiger's, the the one with all the clocks and the. And oh, the Clock Tower is nice for it's, sure. It's fantastic. But uh, they did not listen to us. They picked neither of our. They have Master's <laughs> Dojo. All right. <laughs> all right. Zip Home on court here. advantage for Zip on here. Yeah, it's true. Zip on here on the Midori Geiger, or I'm sorry, Wheezy on the Geiger. Good flash gear. All right. This will be interesting to see how these two players handle it differently than uh, Daniel. They handle this matchup compared to Daniel and Rogue Yoshi. Absolutely. We are seeing. We are already seeing Zipon using the uh, the walk and uh, walk and block method here. Yeah, and then very low butt slams, right? Absolutely. Ooh, so you just jump card. right at the gear and the butt slam over top. Look. Tried to get a back eight. Yeah. Looking looking for the sweeps under the gears. Yeah, nice. Get Gets the knockdown. Oh, but a oh, Yomi. Yomi. What a play! There goes Great all meter. of your all of your dragon meter and the round. Yeah, very unfortunate. That's probably one of the worst things that can happen to you when you're in dragon form. Respect to human. Right. Transform in the air. Good four day. Ooh, but a good air all to right. air there from Zipon. Trying to bait out a flash here with that parry, didn't get it. Got punished for it as well. Ooh, I don't even know what Zip Zipon. Maybe he just lands here. Oh, yeah, no, he's gonna he's gonna hit the big gear. That's three damage. That is very unfortunate. That's one of the most damaging, uh, damaging cycloid revolutions you can get. Gets a counter hit, air to air. All right. Jumping. Oh, oh gets it though. Three damage. Very good awareness from Zipon. Yeah, 100%. That was amazing. Oh, but a bad jump in. We saw that a lot from Daniel. Just jumping in, in the open, you're going to get punished. Goes for the back air on the start round. Two damage. Lands on the gear and takes the flash gear as well. Go best the human. All right, this is so rough. Good neutral jump A's here though. Does get punished with the neutral A. Goes for the sweep. All right, Zippon just trying to get something here, but C Weezy just doing a beautiful job with these time spirals, with these gears, just keeping oh, yeah. Zippon out. I mean, like Zippon basically has no option and doing a bit too many jumps there, landing on the gear. You know, I I, yeah, I would suspect Zippon swapping off Midori if he loses this match here. Could be. It's that, yeah. Oh, didn't quite get over the top. Goes for the dragon form. Oh, goes for the neutral A, I think. Oh, and a flash gear. This is bad for Zipon. He's wasting his dragon form. He's at three bars, jumping in at the wrong time, getting flash gear, time spirals, flash gears. What do you do here? You get okay. in with the dragon buster. Zipon's in now. What's oh. the pressure option? Oh, tries to bait it. Uh, tries to play a flash kick. Didn't happen. Yeah, it did get the counter hit, though. Maybe, might be able to get a throw here. Might be close enough for a throw. No, he's just gonna, he's just gonna no. get clipped. Yeah. All right, zip on. I, I, I'd be amazed if he stays on Midori. 
I'm amazed. Sticking <laughs> with it. <laughs> I'm amazed. I'm Yo, speechless. we're letting it rock today. All I right. I respect it. I respect it. Stick with what you stick with your guns, right? Oh, good flash gear there from Wheezy. A good count. Oh, this is. I mean, what do you do here? A zip on? I mean. Oh no, this is bad. Weezy, Weezy's just reading Zippon's mind. It's like every hit's a counter hit. Yeah, he just knows. He just knows. He just he is inside of Zippon's head. Weezy knows exactly what Zippon's thinking at every point. Look yeah, at that. That's Look fine. at that. Whatever. Yeah. I'll take a boot to the face. You're gonna land in my gear. Yeah, see Weezy's like, oh you it's okay. Like I'll take one point of damage. You know, it's Don't fine. Don't worry. Go to the dragon form. Back eight. You know, it'll Weezy. Mm -hmm. is so brave like i love i love watching him he's just like okay i have all this real estate behind me i walk back i gear oh right? and then just like the talent he does not give up any space that he doesn't need to yeah 100 see wheezy is a master at just keeping this space right i i, I think i don't think i've seen oh, better oh. better use of a zoner against a grappler than wheezy like he does such a beautiful job like look at this he's so he smart and he uses his back ace to get even more space like, in, oh my goodness. Okay, but Zippon's in now. Oh, but a good flash gear right. read. I don't think C. Weezy has had a bad flash but, gear. I don't I don't think C. Weezy's pressed forward this entire match. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you're right, yeah. But it looks like Zippon did finally get a round victory here. Who needs there to, you go. Who, Walk who, forward throw. Yeah. Who needs to press forward unless unless I'm getting a throw, right? That's what Wheezy says. Goes with the cycle yeah. revolution. This is gonna waste so much time on the dragon form. Maybe get some points of damage. Oh no, Zippon! You just have to block, but instead you took three damage, two more damage, five damage all together into a oh. throw. Wheezy may not walk forward much, but when he does, he wins. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but finally okay. Zippon Watch gets that. in. Gets the throw. Let's go. No flash kick that time. Yep. And then the big punish on the transform. Three damage, yeah. That was brutal. Oh, it wasn't close Just enough. Out of range. Okay. It's the drop gear. Only one damage. Okay, Cycle Revolution I love here. Yep. Puts the pressure on Zippon. And Zippon has has been losing to these every time. Like he's been messing yeah, up. He's oh, just try, he no! has to try to get over. Otherwise, he was gonna eat the chip. And see Weezy with a bit of the little bit of the the throw in action there. The tea bag of the of the fantasy strike <laughs> oh, universe. Fantasy strike world, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> All right, fantastic. All right, we're gonna hop into Rook Hugger and Sir now, I believe. Let me confirm that. That it is going to be Rook Hugger and Sir. All righty. Oh man! Uh, oh, uh, Riven, Riven Worm in the in the in the chat saying, "Wait, frankly, I'm frustrated just watching this." <laughs> 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 I agree. I agree. Yeah, that that was a good game though. Um, we definitely saw a different play style of Midori. We saw the walking forward and blocking, trying to just make some space to get in, right? But unfortunately. Weezy is just a master at, at dealing with grapplers, right? He's just like, oh, I can I can deal with this. I I just never yeah. need to walk forward, right? I, I can just I can oh, just absolutely. make you make the press the buttons and make the mistakes, right? Absolutely fantastic. Uh, Shobs is saying uh, Rook Hugger saying so Nerf Geiger please in the Twitch, <laughs> and every <laughs> everyone's just pointing up to it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hi there, saying that Frosty Fosty is, uh, remember Rekhugger's Grave beating Wheezy's Geiger? Am I misremembering? <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'm not sure, actually. I know that, uh, it was, I believe Frosty Fosting's the top two where it was Rekhugger and Sea Wheezy, if I remember correctly. So, I believe we are just waiting for Rekhugger here to start. as his match with Sir. Wheezy is gonna be sitting comfortably in Grand Finals winner side now. That's true. That's true. He is indeed in the winner's side. Yeah, no, Weezy. I, I don't think I've seen a tournament where Weezy is not in grand finals. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's a yeah. great. He's, he's a great player. He's, he's an great. amazing player. He for, for sure. He's, he's one of the best in the game. Yeah, we, uh, I mean, and he shows it every time he shows up to a tournament. So yeah, I mean, it's a pleasure to watch. I think. I mean, uh, it's great to see him play because I think watching great players can really improve your own gameplay and it also is great for just watching it's just it's just fantastic like you don't see yeah. you don't really see that level of geiger much you know that that level of geiger that we just saw 
that's that's oppressive that is an oppressive geiger right there that shows how powerful Absolutely. geiger is it shows just how strong that character can be right so it's just it's just fantastic all right it looks like a rook hugger is waiting for just the blind picks here okay waiting for this Leon's. is also something i find fascinating like i i almost only ever see people do double blind picks in fantasy strike this is the, it was this was the first game that someone ever forced me to do that <laughs> wait, you, you, they're just like i want a double blind pick and you're like wait what yeah <laughs> i'm like wait seriously like, I'm like i had to i had to be like okay i'm gonna check the rules because how does what what <laughs> yeah, it's like wait can they do this <laughs> yeah um, I think it's important though. I think Fantasy Strike probably is more important than other games because the matchups really do matter a lot, I would say. As we just saw, right? Yeah, they really can. Let me hop back in here. Yeah, no, I think that, I mean, I don't think that you should play Midori ever versus Geiger if you have the choice. <laughs> I don't think it's ever a good choice. At least, at least like against players like as good as Wheezy, right? You might be able to slip by a, a Midori versus a Geiger every now and then, but <laughs> Geiger's just so powerful against grapplers. Oh, wow. Big damage from Rook Hugger there. All right, I have hopped in now. All right, Rook Hugger is on the Valorant, it looks like. Rook Hugger's been swapping up a lot of characters. He's been playing a lot, showing off his prowess with uh, the whole cast, it seems. Absolutely. All right, going for the Cycle Revolution here. Shouldn't do any chip here. Ooh, oh, oh no, gets clipped though. Yeah, I tried to do the zip to actually get past any of the damage, but unfortunately wasn't able to recover in time to get the block. Rainbow. And a bad rainbow oh, can nice, be forward. Nice forward A, yeah. Round three. Yeah, Geiger's forward A is just so good, right? I mean, it basically beats every move in the game. Oh, should have walked forward a little bit earlier there. Good forward A. Honestly, uh, whenever I play Geiger, I, I sometimes just like throwing out the four days, right? Just sometimes just randomly throw them out because it'll just catch people. You just gotta, yeah, you need to check people with it every now and again, right? Realize that this is still my space to control. Absolutely. But uh, if you never do it, then they're just gonna walk right up to you. Yeah, I like that Cycle Revolution a lot from Sir. It sort of stops the pressure. It stops a lot of that damage. Goes for the throw. Very well done. Goes a good four day. I love the, I love that punish so much. Oh, Big flash brave here. rainbows in, yeah. Four day. There we go. I really like to see Sir uh, actually flash gear these rainbows, right? You, it's a very reactable thing to do. When you see that rainbow, you can just flash gear. You have a lot of time. Ooh, bad jump there. Gets the rainbow. Ooh, went for the flash gear, but a safe jump from Rook Hugger is going to beat it. A good block of forward A for the punish on the yellow there. Goes the cycle revolution. Yep. Shouldn't. Any ch oh, jumps at the wrong time! Rook Hugger, you're taking damage that you don't need to take. And that yellow was a very good job, though. Get some damage. Oh, fishing with the super. Takes a back fist to the oh. face for it. Oh, no. Nice bait on that. Nice baiting of the flash gear there. Yeah, very well done from Rook Hugger. Even waiting it out a bit, right? Because some Valerie's will just immediately go for another sign right after. But not Rook Hugger. He, he knows. Good drop gear into the four day for two damage. Good sign into the sign magenta for the chip damage. I like these back steps. Baiting out the flash gears. That's what remember it is. Another cycle revolution here from Sir. I like it. We saw this exact same situation earlier, but this time, Rook Hugger is going to nice. fall for it. That's rough. That is rough. Sir up three rounds here. Just needs one more to take this first game. Good drop gears. I like it. Bad drop gear that time. Goes for the throw. Not in range. Good sign, magenta yellow that time. Oh, a good time spiral. Ooh. Gets the counter hit. Maybe a flash gear? Yep. Yep. That's very good but for sir. Takes a damp. Oh, uh, mm, I don't... I think I think Rick Harder gets I think it. He's going to get hit, yeah. yeah. Because he was inside the hit, the hurt box or the hit yeah, box, right? Yeah, absolutely. All right, this is a game point here. Both players just playing it a little safe here. They both know it's the last round, at least for this game. We'll still have another game afterwards, but just, you know, playing some footsies, going back and forth. Oh, but Rukhara gets yeah. in for three damage. Goes for the throw, misses the throw. Flash gear should win here. The flash gear, but he's going to hit it. Damage. You might be able to get up, and now you get pressure, oh, so. Oh, what a good zip there. That was a safe zip as well. I think a flash gear would have been blocked. Very well done. Mm -hmm. Oh, we might be seeing. Oh, no swap. 
No swap. Well, there have not been many swaps this tournament, which is uh, I, a bit surprising, I'd say. I would expect more swaps in a 1v1. But I guess people are very uh, just satisfied with playing their characters, right? That's part of it. A lot of people like playing what they play. Yep, that's true. They, uh, they, just, they, they just get to know whatever the matchups are. Definitely. But four days! Oh, I love nice. it. I love Geigers when they do that. Just four day into that's another four just, day. Like, like we said, right? You just got to check people with it. It's like, this is still my airspace. Yeah, you have to you have to make sure that the opponent knows to respect it, right? It's sort of that thing where if you never use your, your reversal, your opponent will never be afraid of it. So you have to yeah. use it sometimes. Obviously, this was the wrong time to use it. He just lost because he used reversal twice. But my point still stands. <laughs> You have to make your opponents fear your moves, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, get the crawl! Oh, oh no, that's right it. into the. Oh wow, very nice reset into the chip. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. You can't see it, but I'm doing the uh, that that kiss thing. Mm -hmm. The beautiful thing. <laughs> Lots of chip damage. Valerie does so much chip damage just for free, basically. Oh, good rainbow. Yep, gets the rainbow. Chromatic Warfare. Oh, I th think that was supposed to be a very low air super, but... I, I believe you're right, yeah. That would make a lot more sense. Oh, there's the flash oh, gear. Oh, big punish. Step, back step. <laughs> Unfortunately for Sir, a lot of his flash gears have been read correctly from Ricard. Oh, lands on the yeah. gear. Oh. 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 All Sir should have done... If Sir had done a flash gear, he would have won that. Oh, good flash gear this time on the jump in. Gets the drop gear. Three okay. damage. Very there well goes done. all of Valerie's life. Wow. Absolutely. Absolutely. Nice nice response after that big rainbow in the last round. Yeah, definitely. Goes for the rainbow disc. Not going to get any value here. Oh, really tried to bait out the flash gears there. Oh, no. Oh, successfully does it. Oh, man. Good flash gear, though, okay, this there time. There we go. So we're getting some pressure back. Good fight. I like it. I like this from Sir. He's just playing it safe now. He's playing it very cautious. Okay. Yeah. Using the using the rainbow disc to pr protect herself from uh, any extra chip damage. Absolutely. Oh, nice. Very well done. Rookhugger going taking that one 2-0. Absolutely. So we have, oh, one moment, everyone. So thank you everyone for being here. I am Mr. MKL, by the way. Um, big shout outs to Thy Pirate King for doing the stream job here and uh, handling stuff behind the scenes. Also to Leontes for helping with the bracket. Um, this has been great. Uh, welcome to, yeah, Fantasy Strike at Quarantine Report. Uh, the quarterly report have been amazing at helping set this whole event up. Um, so yeah it's uh it's just been it's been a blast being able to participate in this and uh help out try to raise money for direct relief um money going towards uh support for like protection protective equipment for um for healthcare workers uh covid relief man it's important yeah like a little bit a little bit of real talk moment here like i work um front like frontline at a pharmacy Right. So I am out there every day making sure people can get their groceries, can get their medications, can, you know, still kind of live this life. So, like, I know I know what it feels like to be out there on the front line and being like not having anything at your disposal. And that's just being in public. Like if you're an actual health healthcare worker trying to help people who have, you know, come down with covid or like who are just working in hospitals and are super high risk, getting this protective equipment is so unbelievably important. So. You know, every little bit helps here.
Oh, absolutely. I, I ran into my fair share earlier on in the tournament, too. It's, uh, it is. You gotta, you gotta know that spacing. You gotta know when you can jump and how to avoid it. Sorry about that, everyone. Apparently, I was muted on stream. <laughs> I should All right. play it back now, though. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna swag into the jackpot here. Absolutely. Nice. Oh no! <laughs> that is very unfortunate. Unfortunate. Just like back up into seven pandas. Oh my lord. Mhm. Mm you hate to see it. Good flash grade there, though, on the jump in. Goes to the back A. Three damage combo. Rolls nice past okay. the four A. Oh no. oh no. I think Staccato definitely needs to be using more rolls here. Roll is a very good move against Geiger if you use it properly. Because it can oh, roll. Yeah, yeah there. Oh, that there was. There you go. But no, no. Get punched in the face. Oh no. It does get the health though, so back Rogue off. Rogue Yoshi oh. knows your tricks, Pirate King. Apparently. Does get another health though, so Staccato is at full health again, which is fantastic. Where you want to be? Alright, get, get, get a little bit of chip damage. Nice. Back out of the corner, have gonna, a mid pressure. Gonna see a flash gear here. Flash gear. Oh no! Oh no! Goes for the four day apparently. A bad decision indeed. The flash gear I think would have uh, would have won that. Gets Roll the dice. them dice. Ooh, nice. Gets the hidden. Goes for the melon. Unfortunate. The flash gear is gonna beat that. Ooh, a cross up. Oh, the Three cross up. Damage combo. Oh man, you hate to see it. Wow. Okay. Staccato managing oh, to jump out of that pressure there. Oh, this is a bad time to do this. I gonna land on that bomb, I believe. Oh, oh no, gonna get neutral kicked out of the air. Unfortunate there for Janet. Surprise! It's the coin. Looking for chip, possibly. Yeah, okay, lots Money of chip. Pressure. Lots of chip like here. It. Bomb out. There it oh, is. Oh, lands right on it. There we go. Lands on the bomb and the baby lum. All right, Staccato's still in this. Both at three round victories here. Ooh, unfortunate gets counter hit with the four day. You hate to see it. Oh, cross up after the roll for the three damage into the throw. Staccato in the corner. Wow, this is bad. This pressure. Oh, no. And they trade. But unfortunately for Staccato, Rogue Yoshi had full health. Okay. Oh, wha oh, they no. both they tried, both tried to jump away from the bomb, I guess. They both walked into each other's uh, ability there, unfortunately. Good four day on the wake up. Fuck. Oh, a good nice. neutral A getting the anti air. Good anti air. Uh, just a walk up throw. Goes for the jackpot. Oh, I. All right. This is interesting. I think that uh, Staccato gets the yeah gets the win there. Oh, oh what a play! And, and no! then the fireworks. Oh. Lum, 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 lum. <laughs> oh, you love to see the lum stuff, unless you're the other player. <laughs> oh, what? Th that was an amazing block sequence there. I would not have blocked the cross up. That was very well done from Staccato. Ooh. Okay, nice combo into the bomb. Yep. Um, tried to get a pickup off of it as well, but didn't quite work out. Oh, I love these throws. These mix ups are good. good. Get some chip. This should trade? Trade? That's fine. That's all you need. Yep. This is what we were talking about earlier in the tournament, right? Using your jackpot as a trading is fine if you can actually get the victory, right? Absolutely. If you can and it's afford... really good at doing that. Yeah, it's definitely. not really good at cleanly beating stuff as a reversal, though. Yeah, if you can afford to take the hit, then it's very useful. Oh, I thought uh, Rogoshi might land on that baby lump. Wow, the, the roll pressure. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Rolling properly can be so useful in this matchup. It's such a good Good move. stuff. Yeah, Protection look at this. baby. 
You just look at that. Look nice. At that. Beautiful. Mwah, mwah. That's how you want to play Lum against Geiger. Yo, bring it back. Janet up 3 0. Absolutely. And right, we'll see if Janet can keep this up. Good rolls. Yeah, I think Staccato has realized right. that this is how he's play the long. Oh, three Ooh. to four damage yeah, with the roll. And Staccato got the super meter too and the health. Okay, rolling improperly here. Needs oh, to be wait. more careful. Oh, no, dangerous. Oh, man. I would have gone for the super there, I think. Got, got corner dies. pressure. Oh, this is bad. This is it. This is it. It's going to be a, a flash gear. Hey. Flash gear. Oh, nope. the flash gear didn't hit. Gets away. Just watch for... Oh, oh watch for the air to air. You can't say that, Mr. Room Kill. It's the commentator's curse. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, that was so good for Janet, actually. That's for the jackpot. Yes, go, my oh. child. Go, my children. Bro, Yoshi! Oh, that get was blown up, folks. That... We're just we're just exploding. Six here. damage! Six damage! From two combos. Wow, yeah, yeah. I'd be going to character select after that too. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, alright, alright, I'm I'm gonna play some Valerie now. Let's let let's let's teach Lama, let's teach this panda a lesson, right? <laughs> oh my god, that was insane. Okay. Oh, I think I'm going to have to hop back in here. I was going to say, I think we got uh, stalled out. I have this very weird... Everyone on stream can see it. I have, a, I have an icon that's that's the uh, someone inviting me to spectate, but I can't click it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. But yeah, no, Um, I think the Valerie is the right pick here. You know, you know what's interesting, though? So I think most players would say that Valerie has the advantage... But, Ooh, I have been okay. see, but I have been seeing more people picking Lum against Valerie. That's actually a decent trade for, for, for Janet, though, I think. Nice poke. Absolutely. Oh! Oh, good roll, though. Gets the counter hit. Oh, that's bad. Again. Very and good. It also, it also takes out the mini Lum. Yeah, that was the important part, that it took out the mini Lum. Gets the roll in. That's it. Oh, didn't go. Could have won there. Oh, I, Rogue Yoshi didn't do the uh, the chip damage. Could have just gone for the yellow and would have won. Oh, maybe maybe because Janet did have the super, didn't want to take the chance. Didn't want to risk it. Oh, the bad throw. Cyan Magenta Rainbow Super. All right. This should win. It does. Try and it takes two top damage. Lands on the oh. Very well done from Staccato. That cornerback, I like it. Mm -hmm. It's the help. Good blocks can't, you here. You can't pressure too hard. That mini Lum is still walking. Good trade, okay. Good trade for Staccato. Oh, Ooh, didn't get through. Yeah, not not close enough. Good throw here, and this may be it. And it is. Oh yeah, yeah. I think Janet may may have been blocking the cross up there, unfortunately. Oh yeah, St uh, Staccato semi rev here, just uh, struggling a bit to adjust to the Valerie. Oh, these throws oh, though. Got the okay. Uh, roll in, I With like the cross it. Cross up that. That was so risky. Yeah, I love the mix-ups. Good block, and that bomb is going to hit. Low Rolling, up. or just a, a forward nice end. That also confirm. works. Yeah, very well done from Staccato. All right, Staccato cannot lose another round here, though. Goes for jackpot Start immediately. Start off with a jackpot. Oh, oh damage! No, the end the, the cloud! Oh, my God! Godlike. What a play from Staccato. Oh, very good three, and that may be oh, it. This no. may be it. Oh, it's not it yet. Watch yourself. Oh, oh. No. oh. barely caught the cutter there. With that I think it only does board. damage on the last hit, right? So yeah. if that didn't pick up again, oh, Staccato just almost escaped. Unfortunate wow. there. Wow, what a match. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic match there. All right, I believe we will be just continuing on in losers at the moment. Yeah, let's keep trucking. We got... Uh... Rook Hugger versus Rogue Yoshi coming up next. Absolutely. Hop in there for their their match. Oh man, we Oh my I'm sweating from these Lum plays, Mr. MKO. I'm sweating. Oh, that was that was phenomenal. Yeah, oh. we, we have been seeing some amazing Lum combos from Staccato, from Wheezy, just just Lum combos one after the other. I mean we saw what? It was a three damage combo into another three damage combo with Lum with the items. Just amazing. Yeah. And then the start of I've I don't think I've ever seen I don't think I've not I've not once seen a Lum start of the round against the Valerie go for a jackpot 
and then it turned into a four damage combo. And I just, uh, yeah. Like, how... how that how, was just, the the RNG gods were on Janet's side. No, no RNG whatsoever. That was pure skill, Mr. Kale. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies. They they chose the correct sequence. That is what happened. Exactly. They pulled, they pulled their slot machine, and they knew that they would hit the jackpot. I think we're just waiting for them to uh, start start their, their, their match here. Staccato is saying, uh, against a new Valerie, a skilled Lum will definitely win, in their opinion. Alright, looks like we're getting some more Valerie here, versus the DeGray. Oh, looks like I'm gonna have to hop out and hop back in real fast. Oh, all right. You know, this is an interesting matchup, though. The the degray versus the Valerie. I I tend to think it's I don't know. I, I I think it depends like how you play it because I've I've definitely seen Valerie's do very good against degray, and I've also seen Valerie's do very bad against. Degray. Maybe it's like five five. It's yeah. See, this is my, my thought. Is generally speaking that Valerie wants to push buttons, and degray wants you to push buttons so he can counter hate you. Exactly. So. Like, I think that's the kind of interplay where it's like, it, it should work out in DeGray's favor, theoretically, but, I mean, the smart Valerie is gonna steamroll ya. Yeah, absolutely. But there's a very good Justice Kicks there, gets past the Chromatic Orb, and, yeah, Recover doing a great job of just, you know, like you were saying, punishing those button presses, right? Ooh, gets in, barely! We're seeing a lot of people, like, ending their block too early. Well, Rookhugger just a monster here, getting in, getting these mix-ups, going for the throws. Goes for the Chromatic Orb. Unfortunately, Rookhugger is on the other side. Hmm. Rookhugger doing a fantastic job here of just getting in onto Rogue Yoshi. Oh my goodness! Look at this, Mr. Ngel. And that was going to be a chip confirm there. Rookhugger! I believe that was a, uh, I think that was a 15 second match or, or I game. I think so. Yeah, <laughs> I think we just saw a 15 second game. <laughs> All right, that's fine. We're back into it though. All righty. Can Rogue Yoshi turn this around? Oh, does get a counter hit though. Okay, Rogue Yoshi now putting in some pressure into the throw, into these mix ups now. And this should be chip damage. Good chip nice. set up there. All right, we may be seeing a 15 second game from Rogue Yoshi this time. It's in! Gets Good in for up. three damage into the throw! Ooh. This is gonna be it. A little bit high. Yep. Should be This sh should be chip for the win, right? Oh, oh. no! No! Rogue Yoshi just needs one more chip! Goes for the rainbow! Oh, wow. Rogue Yoshi shouldn't have gone for the rainbow after the sign, but it should have just gone no. for the yellow. That that would have been the play, but oh, man. Unfortunately. Rogue realizing and capitalizing off of that, taking that around back. Absolutely. Good chromatic orb here. Good hand here. All right. Oh, the nice. jumping! Out the parry. Very well done. Oh, gets the sign. Oh, could have got the yellow perhaps there. Chromatic Orb should win it here. Yeah. Rogue can't quite, can't back. quite keep out of range there. Yeah, Rogue is doing a great job of just using these sign magentas, just getting that chip, pressuring Ro or pressuring Ricard, getting the throws in when possible, baiting out the ground supers. Oh, but a good throw here, stopping that pressure. Oh, and gets the ghost as well. Into I like the it. And this chip. just chip setup. Yeah. Very well done from the recover there. Round five. All right, we're at two two here. Oh, we're seeing we're seeing both boys playing a little safe. Recover gets in for a three damage combo though. Chromatic Orb is going to beat the Ghost and get the point of damage as well. Gets the sign Magenta into the throw. I like it. And that's it. Oh wow. Very Alrighty. well done. Yeah, Rogue Yoshi doing a very good job of just sort of. Tricking Rookhugger, not letting him know when he's going to use the Cyan Magenta or the throw, right? Oh, that was an anti-air there with that Magenta. Could be able to block in time, yeah. Oh, has has Rookhugger in the corner? This is very important. Oh, Chromatic Storm's at the wrong time. He's going to take two damage for him. BB punish. Yeah, get punched. Oh, I... Yeah, going to get hit into Pick the up. neutral. Yep. All right, this is match point here for the Rookhugger. Ooh, a Yomi Goes counter. for the throw. Big brave Yomi from Rook Hugger. Yeah, also gets that full super meter back. Very important. Yeah, now now not only does he have the air super threat, but the, the um, parry as well. The ground parry threat. Yeah, yeah it's it's gonna make Valerie think twice. It definitely... 
Yeah, lots of, lots of just neutral play here, right? Uh, they're waiting for each other to All make right. a mistake. It looks like Rick Hugger made the mistake first. Rogue Yoshi got that point of damage. Should be able to block this. Ah. Uh, no, it's a counter hit. Oh, no. Go oh, this. No. Oh, it blocks it. No punish. Oh, it gets the counter hit. Oh, oh my. no, you are not allowed to counter step, uh, counter step away, sir. What a play. Will we see Rook Hugger swapping? Maybe go to a Rook, actually. I think we're going to see a Rook here. Oh, a Geiger. Interesting. All right. Absolutely. All right, I think I'm going to have to hop back in one more time. Yeah, I mean, uh, Rook Hugger, I mean, we're seeing that he just knows how to play every character. Very, very high level, too, right? Oh, absolutely. He oh, just... nice AA stuff in the uh, flash kick there. Hopefully I can get myself in here soon. To be in yeah, here absolutely. The There's just both, both these both these folks at full screen right now. Um, Rook Hugger throwing out Cycloid Revolution with uh, Rogue Yoshi at one health. So looking for some chip potentially and is going to get it. Yeah. All right. All right. I am getting in now. Okay. Oh, still gets chromatic it though. Orb. No. Yeah, still got that time that time spiral stopping the chromatic orb hit. Gets the throw yeah. after the yellow. Oh, bad flash here. Gonna take some damage. Gets the Yomi oh, counter oh. though. Oh, look at Valerie's face. I would be. I would have that face as well. I just am pure, shocked. just shocked pure and appalled. terror and shock. Oh, jumps. We keep seeing it, Mr. MKL. Jumping at the wrong time. Not blocking the time spirals. You hate to see good four day on start of the round. Proving that uh, Geiger has a bit more range sometimes. A bit more. Good okay, stuff. this time the Chromatic Orb does win entirely. Good drop gears. Getting Geiger out of the corner there. Oh, I love the drop gear. Gets that ship damage. All right. So important in a matchup like this. Yeah, absolutely. Rogue Yoshi came back with some ship damage too. But this may be it for Rogue Yoshi. Unless he can jump back in time. Oh no, that's not what you want to do. That's not what you want to do. Eat it. You do not want to go closer to the big scary gear in the air. You want to go as far away from that as possible. Oh, oh big jump in. Okay. Yeah, two damage into a flash gear. Good rainbow though. Taking some of that pressure out. Doesn't get the zip. Yeah. Tries to go for the throw. Misses the throw and takes two damage. Wow. Rook Hugger. Oh Remind my goodness. Reminding Rogue Yoshi that I also play Geiger. Absolutely. And can also do some damage. Absolutely. All right, give me one moment, everyone, in the stream. I am just going to restart my game really quickly. Big congratulations to Rogue Yoshi. Making it very far into the tournament there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, basically, the uh, loser semifinals, right? So top top three, or top four. Top four, yeah. Fourth place, I believe. Yeah, fourth place, absolutely. Yeah, because we got Weezy, Weezy, Zip On, and Rook Hugger left now. Yeah, absolutely. And we are going to be checking out the loser's or the losers finals, should I say? It's gonna be Zipbon versus the Rook Hugger, and this will be a best of five. Should be should be fantastic to watch. I think they're they're probably just getting things set up for themselves. But again, uh, again, as I've been saying, uh, definitely check out direct. Uh, direct relief uh please donate if you've got uh, the extra money uh we've actually oh man i haven't been looking at it but we've uh, we're up to 1535 1535 dollars raised so far mr mkl that is wow that is beautiful that's fantastic that's Every, everyone who's donated anyone who's donated you guys are fantastic thank you so much that is beautiful that we've gotten to 1535 and uh, that's amazing i <laughs> that's that's awesome you got you guys are the best this community's just just amazing and I, I know it's not just the fantasy strike community just this community the the fgc in general uh helping out here is absolutely wonderful i it's amazing it's absolutely amazing so yeah all right i'm uh, all right hopping, yeah i'm trying to hop back in here i keep missing the first the first rounds Ooh. unfortunately yeah zip on there just uh steamrolling through satsuki so what do we have we have a satsuki versus a midori okay yeah rook hugger on the satsuki Oh, getting a nice big four damage combo. Oh, I like this a lot. How you want to start it's things here? Up. Neutral aid? Yes. Yes. Don't, don't oh. be jumping when there's a dragon on the table. That's true. A bad a bad ninja port there. 
Ooh, that's a punish. Oh, blocks the kick and a nice throw punish for the round. I'm not gonna lie, I'm I am surprised that Rook Hugger uh, went for the ninja port there. Uh, you usually don't see ninja port being used as much from uh, from like players such as Rook Hugger. Oh, gets Ooh. the two damage. Combo. Reset into the Starlight Cobbler. All right. Yeah, a little bit out of range for that ninja port. Oh, a very good parry. Gets the normal throw. Rook Hugger at two points of health here. This is bad. Auto the command blocks. grab on deck though. Oh, there you go. It. Speak of the devil and the neutral. Yeah. All right. Zebon doing a great job here. Up three rounds already. Oh, a very good kick. Caught, caught jumping. Oh, this may be a neutral. Oh, no. no. Inside. The dragon's just so big. Oh, and that's four damage. Unfortunate for... The zip bond that took away half of his dragon form essentially. Good block yeah. gets the throw. All right, zip bond still in this though. Oh no! As I say it, <laughs> very well done from the rook or uh, yeah from the recover. Ooh, good kicks here from zip bond. Nice. Pull. Oh, that's three damage altogether there. More mix-ups. Oh, jumps back. Oh, ooh, bad time to use the parry. And the recover is gonna take the second round. Oh, my guy. Starlight Cobbler is too strong. Yeah, it's such a good move. Because you can cancel it into basically anything, so it's just yeah. it's just a guessing game. And... I've always said that about Satsuki. She has, like, the most <sighs> options available to her at any given time. Yeah, absolutely, but what a parry there from Zeppon. Oh, and guessed correctly for the kick, but used it at the wrong time. Unfortunate there. Goes for the Dragon Form. I like this Dragon Form a lot. Started okay. the round. Just needs to get this one round, and this dragon form is so good against Satsuki. Just solid blocks. Yeah, oh no! This pressure is so good. Okay. Okay, Satsuki's turn. Oh, this is this this is it. This is this is four damage. Oh, oh no! This is it. It gets parried. That's it. And then jumps. Oh, tries to jump out of the way, expecting the auto command grab to come through. Rook Hugger gets clipped. Had the confirmed four damage on the transform, but missed it. Because I, I think he was going for the uh, the cape on the dragon's height, not the cape for Midori's height. That's yeah. why he missed. He was a just, little bit too high. Just misjudged that. And that misjudging cost him that game. Unfortunate. Round one. Fight. But uh, to be fair to Zipbon, after after Rukhugger messed up there, uh, he took the advantage. He, he took the time to do it. Good parry. Didn't take the damage, but unfortunately also didn't get the hit. Good sidekick there. Ooh, good air to air. That's it. Oh, I'm sorry. No, he had no. four health. Sorry, I thought he had three. <laughs> Sometimes it feels that way that you're gonna you're dead no matter what, but you're not. You're not actually. That's true. That's true. Good rainbow here. Oh, could have actually got another hit there on the bounce. I think, up, I think. so. Oh, go okay, to the dragon transform. Go to the normal Gets throw. The doesn't block. get. It. Good headbutts. Oh, Good that's... pressure. I love it. That was three damage into a two damage neutral A neutral A. I love it. This is just just headbutt more. Headbutt more. I love <laughs> Absolutely. it. Absolutely. I approve. Good chromatic orb. I like that a lot. Worth it. Doesn't matter. Headbutt more. Oh, it's gonna be three damage. Four damage. And two. Oh. A good air to air. Well played from the Rook Hugger. I definitely think that this is one of Valerie's best matches. Uh, it's so hard for Midori to deal with Valerie. There's just so many things that sh that the Valerie can do, right? Oh, for sure, for sure. I mean, even stuff like your uh, your drop kick is basically useless. Like Valerie can get clean two hit two damage punishes on it. Yeah, yeah. If you if you ever if you ever do the the side kick on a Valerie, she can just go Saiyan Magenta. Oh, yeah, what a hold forward Saiyan Magenta. Did you just see what Zippon did? He canceled into the dragon form to get the three damage. That was beautiful. Well done. I think this is gonna trade. Oh, oh no, no. Zippon! What are Why? you doing? <laughs> Why, Zippon? Look what? at that health bar oh. just melt away. I'm face palming. My head is on the table. I can't take it. That was five damage because you just because Zippon decided. To command throw. <laughs> That's actually, I think, one of the worst things that can happen. When you see a um, when you see the the disc, don't command throw. Just, just, just block. Just don't. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not worth it. It's not worth the risk. The 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 reward you get is what two damage. 
and yeah. the risk is five damage. <laughs> Not worried. And Rook Hugger wow. just just really stopping. Really good play from Rook Hugger, yeah. Yep. We are seeing some uh, fantastic Colonel Sanders Geiger here, though. <laughs> oh, my favorite Geiger, yeah. Really. Good drop gear here. The Cyan Magenta. Goes for the back hit. Ooh, a good flash gear there on the rainbow. Good drop gear. Round three. Fight. Time Good rainbow. Oh, into the zip. Oh, these zips. They're brutal. Tried to bait out the flash gear. Zip on happy to wait out. A oh, good flash gear on oh, that nice zip flash though. Gear. Yeah, that was not a safe jump. That's the rainbow it is. I love the cycloid revolution here. Rainbow is gonna provide some protection, but yeah, I actually I think it stops it. Okay, he is gonna get a chip. Yeah. The bunny able to get a chip. Nice. I love these drop gears. Good flash gear. Oh, very good flash gear. Into All right. the oh, and the cross up. Uh, the cross up drop gear. The thing that we must all fear as fantasy strike players. Ooh, three wow. damage from Recover there. Goes for the back ace. Jump ins. Ooh, the chromatic orb. Perfect timing. Just the drop here, not getting any any pressure. Ooh, does get. I oh, got just that punish. Yeah, I got the got the gear hit there, but the flash here is gonna miss. Recover ready with. Oh, and gets oh. there. Unfortunate there for Zippon. Good for a day though. Keeping that space. Oh, but Zippon's in the corner and, and Rookhugger's just not letting him out. All right, he's able to get out though. He was able to find an opening. Not able to Unfortunately, land. lands in that chromatic orb, yeah. Oh, good block from the Rookhugger. I love it. What a good jump in and then the bait for that flash gear. Good rainbows here. Oh, I like the walk into the throat. Oh, they trade. That's a good trade for the zip bomb. Another, That's worth it. Yeah, another good trade. Ooh, oh, very good chromatic orb from recovery. This may be it. It is. Ah, yep. oh, man, zip on really needs to block more. <laughs> but this is not over yet. This is a best of Not five. over yet. If zip on opts to swap. Hopefully they know. Okay, it looks like Zipon is going to swap. Seeing some Rook here. Okay. You know what's scary about this though, Mr. MKL? If uh, if if Zipon does win this matchup, he has to play Rook against the Zoner most likely. And most likely it'll be Arg. Yeah. It's gonna be rough, but- That's gonna be a tough one. But it doesn't matter if you can't get the next win, so. That's true. Start, start, start here. Yeah, absolutely. Lots of thunderclaps. It's the earthquake. Zipon getting closer. Gets another earthquake. Okay, Zipon is in now. Gets the normal okay. throw. Just one or two guesses. Come on, that's all you need. Doesn't get it, unfortunately. Recovery able to get out. Oh, and that's it. Excellent. Super. Oh. What a very good read there from Zipon. That was massive. That was absolutely massive. Oh, a good air to air. Oh, he gets oh. the zip! And this may be it for Rokhara. One Oki away. Doesn't get it. Okay, jumps okay, out. Okay, goes for the C. Gets the three damage. Ooh, goes too many. Goes for it again. Maybe too many Cs here. Goes for the four day. Doesn't get it. And yeah, that's a punish. Yeah. Too many, too many uh, command throws there from the zip on. Gets the earthquake. earthquake. Going for the earthquake. Not getting it this time. Ooh, a head crush. Maybe expecting a rainbow, I suspect. I would uh, assume. Ooh. They, okay, they trade, but oh, it's four damage. Know, it's four damage. Oh. I have to say, this tournament, we have seen so many four and five damage combos. It is, it is amazing. Crazy. Yeah, it's beautiful. But look, Rook Hooker's just like putting Zipbon in jail here with oh! Valerie's normals. But now, maybe Zipbon or Rook Hugger is the one in jail. Oh, but gets the Yomi Big Yomi. Yomi! And this is it. This is over. Yeah, this is going to be Chip with the Get Rainbow exposed. Disc. Oh, man. Zipbon had that one opportunity. Oh, man. Rook Hugger doing a great job with these air to airs and these zips. Just. Oh no, this is so much damage. Come on, Zipon, oh, you nice. gotta you gotta block properly here. You gotta press the right buttons. 
You gotta be safer, and this may be it with the chip. Yep. And it Eats is. Hey. Yep, just waiting for the bounce up. No need to be fancy, right? No. Rook hugger. Take the take the take the whip. Absolutely, and Rook hugger will be moving into the grand finals here. With now, I got. I am shocked. I am shocked that we would ever see a grand finals between these two players, my friend. I agree. It is. It is. It is it astonishing. It is unprecedented in the history of <laughs> Fantasy Strike that C Weezy and Rook hugger would be in. Wait a minute. No, this is every week. So. <laughs> Every tournament, yeah. For even Frosty Fostings, Rukaga Siwizi. They're a uh, a duo. What what what's that? What's that phrase? The uh, uh, I don't know the phrase, but they they are a duo in this in this in this game this community. Always always. <laughs> they are certainly the like the the. They are definitely the like top of the uh, you know top of the ranks rivalry kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. They are, they are the, they are every, every anime character you know that has a rival, that's these two players right here. Yeah. They are Bakugo and Deku. They are Sanji and Zoro. They are other, other ones that I can't think of. Gray, <laughs> Gray and, uh, and Natsu. I don't know. <laughs> flip, flip through, an, flip through an issue of Shonen Jump and just pick one. There you go. Basically, basically. Rinji and Ichigo. <laughs> hmm? Teams. Oh. Looks like my friend was offline. Apparent. Oh, oh! I think they maybe had a connection. I issue. think they had a connection issue there. Both of them have disappeared. Yep. I'm sure, Leontis is figuring all that stuff out. Yep. I'm sure we've got we've got a few uh, sponsors to thank. I think at this point, don't we? Yeah, absolutely. Let's let's run through them. Uh, so obviously, as we've been talking about the entire stream of. Uh, Direct Relief, uh, we've, we've already raised a lot of money for it, so check them out. They're fighting against COVID-19 in all 50 states and 30 countries. Uh, there's also the Quarterly Report, which is the event, the, the organization that's set up all of this. You've got Turtle.dev, you've got Reptile Games, you've got Digital Crafter, Jazzy Circuit, Hard Drop, Shine, uh, which uh, is one of the tournaments. Uh, they're doing a New England Smash slash Fighting Game Majors. Uh, you've got Mimas 2020, you've got... NJ SS uh, or NJ New Jersey Super Smash Brothers Melee East Coast Fridays go. Garden State Smashdown and Brotherhood Gaming Dark Genix, check them out it's awesome oh there's also I believe Quarterly Rapport has a Teespring a Teespring as well so you can buy any like mugs and T-shirts if you want any of that stuff so check all of that stuff out yeah there's a, there's a cool commemorative poster there it's uh the design is awesome i love i love the aesthetic that they use it is hilarious so go check it out guys yeah so there's also uh, i believe let's see oh pg and poverty game night uh they're doing sponsoring third strike but enough with the sponsors we will get into this game the final game of the tournament right looks like rook is doing a good job here against the geiger we're seeing a lot of safe play here. He does have the ghost behind Geiger, which is great. Where are you going to be? Ooh, goes for the... Yeah, just go for the pause. Into the throw. Has Rukugger in the corner. Into the cross-up. Three damage combo. We keep seeing it, Mr. MKL. We keep seeing these three damage cross-up combos from the Geigers. Yeah, they're, they are getting the most out of their damage opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, goes for a very interesting ground super. In block stun. Oh no, all right. Ooh, but Rukhara does get the ghost hit. Good flash gear there from Wheezy. Both players at three bars of health. Goes for the dagger fall. All right, both players just playing it safe. We're seeing a lot of safe play here. Recover able to barely get past it there. And that's two damage, punch, punch. Wheezy with a very bad flash gear there. Oh, very good flash here. Goes for the cycle revolution. This is really good, actually. Rook Hugger is basically right under this. Yeah, this is. Oh, yeah. this is so much damage. Only gets two though, actually. Okay. Yeah, mistimed the uh, the time spiral, unfortunately. I like this. Just playing it safe, right? Playing some footsies back and forth, back and forth. This is how you play it. I yep. like I like Rook Hugger. Not not playing, not doing anything. Trying to... But Weezy, smart enough. He's not overextending here, right? Oh, there you go. Oh, hit the... Extends the forward A and gets punched Oh, gets it again. again! You do not see that very often. I have to stop jinxing these players. I'm sorry. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, I know. 
The commentator's curse. Both players playing so- this is such a safe game, look at this. Super patient, and you've seen this, if you've, if you've seen these two players play before, you've seen this kind of stuff where they, they're they smart, they know where the danger zones are, and they don't put themselves in them, exactly. right? And so you end up in this, like, this dance back and forth. It really is like a dance, I have to say. Oh, no, we're I don't think you can get over top! Yes, oh, you do! Yes, no cross yes. up in the- Three wow. seconds on the clock, wow. Mr. MKL, with three seconds on the clock. He's like, I've got to make a decision. Let's go. And he makes the correct one. Good flash gear from Wheezy, though. Oh, my goodness. That was that was I that was one of my favorite rounds this tournament. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. All right. But the Geiger pressure here. This is it. Yeah, that would have been chip, I believe, with the flash gear. Round six. What a play, though. Oh, my goodness. All right. See Weezy just need one more round here. Being a lot a lot of the safe gameplay again. Look look at Rooker. Look how he's just, you know, playing it safe. Not doing anything that could get him hurt. Oh, but he gets in for three damage. Oh, and that's another two, three. Yeah. Gets in there. These players are just just top tier players, Mr. MK. We are seeing some crazy plays here. Just, I, I, this is almost perfect gameplay. I would say this is this is just such good, such good play. I'm loving this. Let's go. All right, guess three the damage. jump in. Big three damage. Yep. Absolutely. Oh, tried to back oh. step. Gets punished for two though. Oh, wasn't it? Oh, nice. Gets grabbed by the ghost on the way back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, lots of safe play here. Just playing it safe, being careful. I like this a lot. Oh, gets yeah. hit by the back eight. Yeah, Rook Hugger just walking into and out of Geiger's forward A range there. That time did did fall onto that tie as well. Very unfortunate. Will we be seeing another Hail Mary here? We will! Is that gonna... Oh! No, not. A little too far away, so couldn't get through. And if Geiger. If he managed to actually land that hit, it would have canceled the uh, the yeah. Cyclone Revolution completely, so... It would have. And we, and we just see Geiger sitting there smug on the ground, you know. Ah, my Cyclone Revolution is Adjusting powered. his tie. Exactly, yeah. That's always how I imagine it. Ooh, a good kick there. Good air there. Ooh, Recur, uh, maybe play it, maybe get a little bit too greedy here. Oh, nice. Gets in for three damage though. Recur is still in this. It's gonna be rough. He's gotta play even more careful. Has to watch out for four days. Doesn't want to get checked there. And he, oh. Mm, I need to, we, just we, inside that range there. We've gotta stop saying things. <laughs> but it's kind of our job. True, true. Oh, these oh, four wow. days are okay. just... I love this play from Weezy a See, lot. See, now we have Weezy walking forward to adjust that forward A range to a place where Rook Hugger's not really comfortable, and he just keeps getting clipped now. Yeah, this is it? Yeah. Oh, big three damage off the Cycloid. I like it. I like that C. Weezy is changing his game style. Like, Rook Hugger really needs to adapt as well. Like, Weezy is adapting very quickly, but Rook Hugger, I think, is not adapting as fast. He really needs to start changing up his play as well. Because yeah. Weezy's definitely doing more walking forward. He's doing more forward days. He's doing more weird time spirals. Like, he's doing them at the at weird times. Like, like look at this. Like, Weezy's just happy to actually... Oh, look at that. He did a it's jump like, over you? into a cycle like, what are you? Who are you, Valerie? Look at this. It's beautiful. A good jump in. Does only gets one damage though. These flash gears are so good. Rookar needs to stop jumping over every single one of these times. Well, sometimes you just need to block it, right? Yep. Use use your blocks. Use the ghost. I want to point out that C Weezy is also using these back steps. Nice to safe back jump. Hit. All right. That was a good safe jump. Got the two points of damage after the block. Ooh, almost Ooh, got the nope. cross up for the three that damage. So good. Yeah, did get two damage though. Eight seconds on the clock. This is a good draw for Weezy, Weezy though. Yeah, that's a this. great draw for Weezy. He's happy to back off and not just yeah. take this, take the point. Now you're at you're at match point, right? Yep. I think Rook Hugger wanted to take the draw as well. He didn't want to take the chance of just losing uh, a round for no reason. Very true. Oh, it doesn't get it though. Recovery super fast. Good drop gears here. Doesn't get the throw. Oh, a good walk into... Oh, man. Weezy really changing up his game style. We saw a lot of more safe play from Weezy, a lot more defensive play at the beginning of the match, but now we're seeing a lot more aggressive uh, aggressive Geiger. Yeah. Yeah, you see him going in way more. Absolutely. Oh, gets oh. in, though! DeGray just yeeting Geiger to the ground there. Well played from Rooker with that jump eight. All right. 
Oh, a good throw there from Wheezy. Perfect timing. It's the dagger fault. Oh, a good a good anti-air or air to air drop gear into the throw. Yeah, into the throw. Get out the big gear. I like the cycle revolution a lot here. Yeah. Oh, this. Mm. Get over top. Not gonna. Yeah, get, no okay. punish on it. All right, so it did work out. Does get a two damage combo. Neutral jump. What a good flash gear though from Weezy. Got all that pressure off in a single button press. So the dagger fall. Look at this. Weezy just knows exactly when to back off, right? Oh, gets it. Oh. Gets that hit again. Oh, gets the assist, but gets hit by that gear, unfortunately. Oh, bad justice kick. Oh, doesn't no, get punished. That's good. No, no, it was the second hit of the kicks. You can, you can, you're fine. And they do trade, but Wheezy had more health, unfortunately. Recover is still has a chance here, though. It is a best of five. We will see if he swaps. Okay, we we are sticking with the Degray and Geiger here. Will this be the last the last game? Yeah. Weezy just needs to win this uh, win this match here to uh, to close out the tournament. Absolutely. Oh no, Ricker already at oh, four wow. loss, four damage lost here. Drop your air to air. Drop your pressure. Oh, this is rough. so oppressive when you're in that corner. Yeah, these drop gears from Weezy have been on on point. Weezy's drop gear usage has just been fantastic throughout this whole tournament. Right, we're seeing we're seeing Ricker maybe going back to a little bit more of that. That safe defensive gameplay, doing yep. doing some doing some little little footsies there, walking back and forth, trying to yeah, they out had, flash gears. Right, they had that back and forth where Weezy started adjusting his spacing. Now they're back to where they started, right? Exactly, and and it was working in Rooker's favor when it was like that. So we'll see if Rooker can keep. Oh, and gets nice it from behind. ghost. That's exactly what you want to do. You want to keep that ghost behind the enemy player if you can, because if you keep it behind them, it's a lot harder to deal with. Oh, these four oh, days. No, the four days just chipping away. Yeah, it needs, it needs to be a little bit more careful with those footsies. A good counter hit from the in the air. Ooh, oh, backstep in the four day. That was so well done. And the counter hit with very solid flash gear. Oh my goodness. This is an intense, an intense match. No mercy from Wheezy here. Yeah, absolutely. Lots of good play from both these players. Oh, punish. Oh, damage combo punish, yeah. Goes to Cycle Revolution. I, we might see a throw here from Recover on the drop. Oh no, just happy to happy to drop back. Get away. Uh, okay, should, yeah, it doesn't take any chip. Yeah, avoid, spoils the chip. Absolutely. They trade, Which that's really... a bad trade for Recover. To the throw, this may be it. Nope, two damage with okay. the ghost. One, two. Oh man. Recover really needs to be more careful with these jump ins. Oh, a very good ghost there. For the Cycloid Revolution. This is exactly what you want to do. Recover is in pressure now. This is a lot of chip damage. Recover already oh, lost man. two into the flash oh. here. It's looking grim, Mr. MKL. Can he pull it back? This is just getting no. Weezy's just gone into. I'm I'm a turtle. I'm a turtle, guys. Oh, oh no! I got desynced. Same. Oh, unfortunate. I will try and get back in, everyone. I'm so sorry. I can't control that. No spectating. Oh no, we may miss it. What what a time to have that happen, eh? <laughs> Yo, such is net play life. Yeah, it happens. It happens. Uh, well, hopefully we can get back in, but uh. Well, yeah, we're seeing it's still going. So. Oh, my friend is offline. Maybe they disconnected. Oh, they may have disconnected. Yeah, I think they might have disconnected, or perhaps because Weezy's not online anymore. They might. Did they end it? I am not sure. I'm sure Leontis will update things. I'll check the uh, the Discord as well just to see what's going on. Okay, it looks like it was over. Yeah. All right. Yeah, uh, Rick Hugger saying that uh, GG Wheezy, he won. Yep. Yeah, we just missed that well, last oops. round. Apologies for for missing that last round. We couldn't, we couldn't check it. Uh, I Wheezy definitely was the lead though there. 
He was, and he he had gone into turtle mode, right? Like all he had to do was get a couple of stray hits, and um, it, it, all of the pressure was on Recargard again. And at that point, yeah, so. I, I think that one, like if you're playing a character like Geiger or Argargarg, once you have that life lead, you just turtle, right? You just say, okay, like you come to me, right? I yeah. ha I have the life lead, and I win if you don't. You, if you get don't to make me. the mistakes now. Exactly. Yeah, I don't have to worry about it. It's very uh, similar, like when you're playing a Geiger versus Geiger, like a Geiger mirror match. Those are mm -hmm. very interesting because I've learned that usually the, the the Geiger that gets the first hit is usually the one that's really in the lead, right? Because then they can yeah. just sit back and relax. So, yeah, fantastic. But we've even raised more money for the for this uh, for the for the relief, the direct relief. I believe we are at sixteen. Yeah, one thousand six hundred sixteen dollars and eleven cents. You guys are awesome. You, everyone in both the Fantasy Strike community and all the other communities for this tournament or in this event, you guys are making this making this happen. Well, well played, well played. Fantastic. Andy. Yeah, let me go and hop over. I believe I can show you guys this bracket real fast. Hop into that. This ah, there we are. There we, there's the bracket. It was a big tournament, I have to say. Uh, this is this was nope. a this is a massive tournament. I think this is one of the biggest fantasy strike tournaments we've had, right? Um, yeah, yeah, I think it's up there, right? Like, I mean, we had 61, I believe, at Frosty Faustings for uh, for IRL tournaments. Um, but uh, I think some of the spring, the solstice events have managed to be um, pretty big. But this is up there for sure. Full and, thirty-two man bracket has been amazing. Yeah, it was it was it was fantastic to see. I mean, like, oh my god, the amount of of Lum combos, the amount of Dragon Form combos, the amount of Geiger combos with the cross ups, just so many great matches tonight. And you, um, yeah, just amazing. And, and everyone again, like, thank you all so much for actually donating to direct relief because that that's what we were that's what this tournament was all about that's what these this event was all about was helping support the COVID 19 outbreak the coronavirus because it has been spreading it's uh especially in america um it's just been getting worse every day so it's it's great that uh people are helping out uh helping everyone out right yeah i mean it's like it's really easy to feel you know like completely helpless in a situation like this where it's, it's something so much bigger than yourself but you know what? There are like practical, real world things that we could do to help make it better. And supporting a, a an endeavor like the COVID relief from direct relief is going a long way to doing that. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone, for your contributions. Uh, you're all fantastic. Yeah, 100 percent. And uh, yeah, we'll just run through all of the sponsors again, because they're like, I think it's also important to remember that a lot of these tournaments, uh, the people who are coming out to play them uh, is because of a lot of the sponsors that are putting in money for the prize pools and uh, even donating to Direct Relief as well. Uh, they they're great. I mean, uh, to start off with uh, the Fantasy Strike community, the five hundred dollars that we got was from the Fantasy Strike community uh, people putting in money and helping out with that prize pool. So thank you all in the FS community or anyone who just happened to donate as well. Uh, then there's all these other games. I mean, this, you know, turtle.dev, uh, they're an app for freelance software developers, reptile games, developer of lethal league blaze. Uh, just, uh, they also sponsored $300 for the prize pool. They donated copies of the game skins, digital crafter, uh, developer for fight of animals. And they donated copies of their games for their tournament sponsored $50 to the pot jazzy circuit, street fighter third or street fighter, uh, three RD, uh, strike circuit, uh, hand yep. drop Tetris community. It's just, so many shine tournament uh new jersey super smash brothers melee east coast fridays garden state smash down brotherhood gaming dark gen x uh mimas oh man yeah the michigan masters tournament series shout big shout outs to you guys for doing uh you know holding these events and honor uh you're like your medals and your prizes and doing your wind jammers gundam versus your melty blood and your lethal league blaze tournaments here at quarterly report it, quarantine report it's fantastic ah so i love seeing everyone coming out the hard drop community from tetris Always doing amazing stuff. Um, yeah, Slippy, a project made by... Uh, <laughs> Slippy has made many things this core as a melee data framework. Open source allows for replays and analysis and archiving. So many great things here. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. Just, just, just 
Man, the, just a great community overall. Like everyone's just helping out. Everyone's putting in money for the pots. Uh, what the poverty game nights tournament? That's an online tournament series uh, sponsoring Third Strike. The GBL Gotta Be Legend uh, gaming organization focused on live streams, podcasts, and tournaments. Uh, Gotta Be Legend dot com, fighting for uh. For- Fanatics, Fo- Fanatics. I believe I'm pronouncing Fanatics, that. Yeah. Fanatics, yeah. Uh, Vim's Fightin' Herds community. First place in Woo. every tournament gets a game copy. $150 pot. Top eight in the TA- TFH gets uh, Predator Palette DLC keys. Oh, and the Soul Caliber Six community also. Uh, they they were um, volunteering. They sponsored a $50 pot. So uh, that was a Boom Boominati Boominati Triangle Eye logo. Oh, that well that's yep. their logo. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, it's. Oh my goodness! I, it's awesome. Like every like this. This was all. This was all just sponsored. Like everyone's just helping out. Just helping out so that we can raise money for director Lee for, for the COVID nineteen and getting getting some help there because there are people that are sick. There are people that are hurting, and uh, it's good that we're getting these medical supplies to them. Even even if it's a little, but I wouldn't say this is a little. We've raised a thousand six hundred forty six dollars so far. And this is just the first day, right? There's uh, tomorrow is another yeah. day as well. Um, I believe. We'll so- be- yeah. Other games are doing this all day long. Tomorrow's got a bunch more games um, and some really big ones too. So, yeah, I really hope everyone you know checks out all the other events that are going on. And if you're able to contribute, that's amazing. And if and if not, you know what? I hope that we've been able to provide a little something, even if you're not being personally impacted. You don't you know have any family members who have come down with this. You know, it's been hard on everyone having to isolate and, you know, distance themselves from everyone. This, so This sort of bringing everyone together. Yeah, like it's it's helping people remember that just because you're quarantined in real life. Hey, we're, we're gamers. We're gamers. We have community online, right? We we can we can still interact with each other in an online situation, um, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, but hey, Mr. MKL, you, you've definitely helped out a lot as well. Uh, do you have any links? And uh, I know that you have Twitters and you run tournaments as well. Do you have anything to shout out? Yeah, man, if, if any of you have enjoyed this and you want to check out some more Fantasy Strike stuff, uh, hit me up at uh, on Twitter at MRMKL underscore. Uh, and check out at Toronto Top Tiers. Um, we do our local fighting game weeklies. We play a bunch of games. We play all the games, in fact. <laughs> so whether you want some Sailor Moon or some uh, Gundam, uh, Gundam Endless or some uh, Monster Hunter uh, you know, challenge parties that we've been doing lately, hit us up. Come out, check us out. Um, if not in real person, then online for Stun City Online. So we're doing that every week, and I hope you guys can come on out. Yeah, definitely check out Mr. Amakel. He's great. Uh, he's commentated with me before, obviously, for this event as well, and he, he does some great stuff. Uh, for myself, uh, you're, you guys are already here, so I don't really need to say any much. Uh, all my links are down below in my Twitch. Uh, I'll, I'll be posting... Uh, the tournaments on my Twitch channel at Thy Pirate King Esports. So yeah, this will all be up there. But uh, thank you again so much, Mr. MKL, for uh, helping me commentate. Also, Leontis, uh, thank you so much as well for not only commentating with me as well, but mainly for just running the brackets, uh, keeping everything organized because I've done that before and it's rough. <laughs> it takes a lot of work. So thank you so much. Yeah, who? Yeah, thanks for having us out. This has been great, Pirate King. Appreciate all the work you do. And I see in chat, Leontes, who are we rating? That's a very good question. Oh, yeah. Who are we rating? Who, who are we rating today? Do uh, we have votes in the chat? Yeah. D- who should we raid? What, which 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 game should we raid? I know there's a lot what do we going got, on. What do we got going on? Is, uh, yo, is uh, Fight of Animals on? Let me check. Uh, boy. Find the document. Oh, I should have had that document pulled up already. We will find it. Oh, this, is, this is your job, pirate. Ah, it's the one document I didn't pull up. <laughs> oh, let me find it. In the quarterly report. Where is that document? I know that there is a document. Yo, Ro- Rogue Yoshi you're for Pocket Rumble? Is that is that a fact? All right. Is there a Pocket Rumble? Oh, boy. Oh, you know what I can do? I know how to find it very easily. Go to the quarterly report thing. This is my job. I'm so sorry. I should have had this pulled up. <laughs> we definitely want to raid someone, right? That's definitely what we want to do. It's fine. Though. Okay. I mean, I, 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 I gotta be real. If yeah, if if we don't have, um, pocket rumble running, yo, Tetris, Tetris is going. Oh, right? we could. Yeah, we could definitely do that. Let's see. Oh, there's a melee tournament actually going as well. What do we? Well, do? I know where your your true love lies. So. <laughs> I do love me some Super Smash Brothers. I have to say, I do love me some Super Smash Brothers. Well, that's the one that I see. So I'm I'm gonna go for the I'm gonna go for the melee. I think 
Unless I, can, right, unless do it I up. can find the Tetris. But yeah, I think I'm going to go for the Millet. Let me pull up their username. Copy that. Go over to my stream. And I believe my raid button is raid channel. Take a channel to raid. Sig Millet. All right, guys. Thank you all so much for coming out. I really appreciate all the support for this tournament. But uh, definitely go check out all the other tournaments. I'm going to raid the Millet tournament. But um, feel free if you want to watch a different tournament. It's all on the quarterly report uh, challenge page, so you can find all of that information there. So, yeah, we'll see you all later. Thank you all so much. Peace out.